thank you everybody for joining us again if anyone is here at all um but well, it's been a few weeks life gets in the way but we are back in our last session the team after cashing in after successfully dealing with the goblin queen to a certain point before her untimely mistake uh, escape they wasted no time in picking up another mission to capture a well, some juvenile mimics for their, well, your friend, yes. and definitely again in that way, Zabelarev. Now, shot off straight there, hit to the temple, made your way into this, this area that had not been explored, and Found lots of useful information about the temple and its source being for made by people that worshipped mimics, thought they were supreme beings, that they were helping to train and develop them to make them better at what they did in terms of their camouflage and hunting and stuff like that. Um, and after finding all that, you went into a room and found two cats, two black cats. And Arthur's, after attempting to use his ability to speak with animals and all sorts of other things, let one come all the way up and reach down to pet it and uh well it was indeed a mimic <clears throat> one of the ones you know more formidable and better at changing its shape that the previous room suggested and it hit hard <laughs> Damn fucking crap. and at the end of the last <laughs> session you guys looked on <coughs> as this mimic wrapped itself <coughs> Across the chest and arm of Arthas, and as it let go, his body turned grey and slumped to the ground. And he appeared, for all intents and purposes, to be dead. So, first thing, I'm sorry to do this, everyone, I'm going to need a moment alone with Arthas. Oh, okay. <laughs> you go it first. Is this making you more nervous? A hundred percent. Can you shut the door, please, Sadie? Thank you. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> when a mimic bites hold of you, you feel strangely cold as it pierces. And as you drop down, there's, you're not angry. You're not even sad. What there is there is a lot of disappointment and regret of this. Your aim, the thing you've been so determined to achieve, appears to have been snatched from you. And as you slump to the ground, you lose consciousness. And as things fade to black, you just hear this, hello? Hello there. What brings you to me? And you start to open your eyes up and then you're surrounded in this dark black arena with wisps of strangely thick swirling uh, fog clinging low to the ground and you look around and see a figure in silhouette at this point sitting upon a large throne that appears to be very sharp at the corners but you can't make it out fully between the fog and the lack of light and you're looking and you're like oh wakey wakey just Arthur just looking around just no idea what's going on um, wakey am I awake? Well, no, but yes, you intrigue me, Arthas, you intrigue me a lot. Who are you, who are you for me to intrigue? Oh, I'm nobody. Mm. You just happen to collapse in a convenient location. Within my sphere of influence, you could say. Your sphere of influence, okay. Yeah. Just, it, there's n 
can I make out any... There's no, no significant features at all okay. other than this throne and this guy. Any significant features on him, what he's wearing or anything like that, or just... It looks like... Make a perception check for me. Oh, God. At disadvantage, because you, you, you have no it's... dark vision. And it's probably just... traumatised. It's fair. Uh, oh, uh, 22. 22. Okay, you focus in really hard, and what you're seeing is a, it's a really smartly dressed man in like a bit of a black waistcoat, a grey shirt with flares out, and, and pretty plain black trousers, but a long robe that's flowing down beneath his legs. He leans back, and as you look, there's a lot of a lot of hard stone and metal. The chair just looks like it's built for intimidation, not comfort. Mm -hmm. uh, did, did that thing actually kill me, or...? Well, yes, you're dead. Okay. It's... But, like I said, you're lucky. lucky. You died in my sphere of influence. Everybody that dies within my sphere of influence, I know about. But I don't speak to them all. So why speak to me? You've asked the right question. Mm. When people die, what you normally feel from them is fear. What I got from you was regret. And that interested me. You have, uh, I mean, we all have unfinished business, but you, oh, it was more, and it just it felt delicious, and I, I thought I'd speak to you. Is that what it is? You just want to know my story? I already know it. You're looking for someone, aren't you? And he waves his hand around, and the woman you're looking for, the, the smoke kind of weaves itself up into a wispy, foggy, twirling shape resembling her form. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she did you wrong. And you're confused. Because you're not sure if it was really her. And you want to know why. Arthur oh, just takes a step forward towards the figure of Kristana. Just... pauses and just I assume you're not going to tell me what you know well I only know what you know on this matter see my influence allows me to see inside your mind Arthur oh, just tries to not think of anything <laughs> no come, come. <laughs> if you really think in your emotional state you can hide things from me just sighs heavily, just as long as you want. I want to help you. Would you like to finish your journey and find this person? If you can see into my head, you know that's true. I do. Excellent. I actually don't need anything right now. But you interest me. When you're as powerful as me... Life is boring. Do you ever, people ever think of that? When you're a god, people are like, oh wow, it must be amazing, all that power. But it's, it's really boring. And sometimes someone comes along that genuinely interests me. And you have done that, Arthas. So, because you've fallen in my sphere of influence, I'll give you a free chance to try again. And what are you going to want down later down the line? I don't know. Hmm. Are you asking me to ch to change to worshipping a different god? No, or... I don't care. I don't want to be worshipped. Hmm. But you'll what resurrect me from the dead? Exactly. And he... maybe with a little gift in tow. A gift? Yes. Any 
drawbacks you're probably not going to tell me about? None that I can think of. Mm. I need to find her. Yes, you do. Well, to do that, you need to be alive. Fine, whatever. Whatever it is you want. I need... I need to know why he had to die. He steps down from the throne and the figure is imposing and you already get the feeling this as they step towards you they look humanoid but they're coming forward mm. around eight foot tall but a me fairly medium build and this cloak flowing behind them and you approach and you see a fairly pale skin with jet black hair but eyes are rather sinister but not in a way you go oh shit he's up to no good you're like I don't know what he's thinking. Mm. And he smiles. And he holds out his hand. We have a deal, then. Oh, you find what you're looking for. Arthur just has, pauses and stares at the hand. Sighs and just shakes it. As you pull out, he, he clasps his hand on the back and you actually feel the back of your hand start to burn. And he goes, just... A little something to remember your deal. If you want to look up more about me, uh, they call me the Whispered One. And you feel this, it, it hurts. Mm -hmm. It's burning to the back of your hand. <laughs> and with that, everything starts to fade to grey again. We can get everybody back in now. <laughs> hey, Andrea. <laughs> I'm so fucking chuff. I am fucking vibrating. <laughs> She's just. Uh... So nothing interesting happening, guys. No, nothing at all. I don't, don't worry about you. it. Don't worry about it. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the monster's a bad idea. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Everybody, you ran as you see it. Arthur's roll to the ground pale. I need everybody to roll initiative. No. Who will betray Is that me? attack counting as like the first in a surprise <laughs> attack round? No, they don't get a full attack round. Oh, okay. shocking. Twinsies. Oh, you got she hundred yourself well. Yeah. Oh, no, she did. No, she I was like, you just mad. Yeah. Should have, should have looked after me. First roll with these dice, they suck. <laughs> I did like eight rolls, all were like a ten or above, except for one, and then this one's also below. Yeah. Sorry, it's I've lost the mimics I need to be using, so give me a second. So what happens when you don't have the same things to prep with as last time? Just a second, I forgot you were a monk, and I was like, why do you get to go so far? Yeah, yeah monks uh, extra movement speed. Mm -hmm. Okay, did anybody get over 20? No. No chance. Okay. Bless you. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Okay. Um, uh, 20 to 15. No. Oh, we're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got the track of the markers out for this one. 
15 to 10. I got an 11. 10. Wow, guys. <laughs> 10 to 5. I got 6. What did you get? Did you roll? Oh, no, sorry. I didn't know if you wanted me to. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, 11 then. Oh With my god, Mars. twinsies. Given Mars is, wasn't dead at the start of combat, you can mm. go after her. And then... Yeah, that's fair. People <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can't go very fast. Apparently I move slower than the dead person. Do my second to a corpse. Mark reactions, yeah. <laughs> Plus six. And Tova... Two of us are going second to a corpse. Bringing up the rear. <laughs> okay, top of the round. You guys see this. And then the one that's dropped... In what was it? In the tunnel. Oh my goodness. On the right, bottom right. Look Big boy. The... Oh yeah, wow. coming through the rock, sorry. Oh boy. Wow. What a distraction. <laughs> that one's called Giga, the other one's Chad. Oh. The, um... <laughs> I did not name this room. <laughs> Thomas and me named this room. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the one that's uh, just dropped still with the blood of your friend ripping off. In mostly cat form, and bounds towards you. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay, you haven't acted yet, so it gets advantage. I won't use the um, spell. Oh, <laughs> oh How much health do you have? <laughs> um, so it's biting you. It was eighteen hit. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> and <laughs> okay, so. 2d6, 2d6, and 2d6. What? What? Sneak attack, because you've got the advantage roll. Sorry. Wait, how does he get a sneak happened? attack if, if we already have seen it killed? Mimic has advantage on attack rolls against creatures that are surprised or have not yet acted in combat. Uh, upon hitting oh, a creature okay. of these conditions, it deals an additional 2d6 damage. It can deal extra damage on uh, once on each of its turns, but... This is why I was so fucked. <laughs> Yes, with the with, with the crit as well. Uh, he says we're a one in there somewhere. <laughs> I did not get that. We can't <laughs> necessarily kill me in one hit. Bo, my he, he friends could. are dead. Twenty-four points of damage. What the fuck? <laughs> I didn't roll your dice. Who for picked this quest? <laughs> you were all so excited <laughs> yeah. to do this quest. Hey, we're like baby mimics. What could be so hard? <laughs> we just and it's then going to. It's um. It's then going. It's not. You're too big for it to try and swallow. Um, yeah, I uh, hope so. But it is going to... Um, uh, it still gets advantage on it, and yeah. it's going to try and hit you with... Like, one of its paws comes up and it stretches out in the big tentacle pseudopod form. Can I... That's a natural 20. <laughs> I say, could I have used a reaction? Because I have Stone's Endurance that reduces damage dealt to me. Yeah, I mean, do you want to just use it now, anyway? Well, it's 1d12 plus 2. Uh, natural 20, so... <laughs> Great. Reduced by 6 damage. Oh, What's the minimum damage it's going to do? Well, I rolled already low, so you've only taken 13 points Yeah, no, damage. I'm down. <laughs> Wait, no, but you lose minus 11. Uh, so, 2. I, I take away 6 minus Oh, seven. so... Seven. What was I doing? 7. 7. Yeah, still down. Oh. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Unconscious marker. Right. What a start to the game. Where is your... <laughs> <laughs> you smug bastard. The other one... <laughs> there it is, the brown one. Is this... That's is Mars. Mars? No! <laughs> yeah, do something, please. I, it, it's, is it my turn? No, because well, no, no. he's attacking You're... me, so I can't do anything yet. Have you just crit? <laughs> it's going to be a short session, isn't it? I can see it. It's a 20. I didn't roll sparkly. Oh, God. I don't believe you. <laughs> oh. uh. It's not one. What's your hit points? Maximum hit points? 31. 31. Okay. That's okay, because there's only... Yeah, so 57. So you're unconscious, but not dead. <laughs> <laughs> right, let me grab another unconscious one. Oh, boy. 
All down to you, Tyra. Oh, great. So that's the uh, end of their turn. <laughs> So just 57 damage, that's fun. That's Mars, cool. can you make a death saving throw, please? Yeah. <laughs> 14. Okay, that's a pass. All right, Arthas. You come round staring on one HP as you're looking up out. Still mm -hmm. looking pretty pale. Roll a d4 for me, please. Uh, d4. Four. You have four points of exhaustion. Oh, fuck. Oh, so I wanted low. That's <laughs> awful. Uh, you were dead. <laughs> <laughs> Still might be after this. Um, okay. How? Uh, what does the exhaustion do? Sorry. Uh, You're fucked. Yeah, the fourth level of it. He's got like all these conditions. Stuff. I think, isn't it? Conditions. I'm near the bottom to my. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> but if you wild shape, I would think that would override that. Until um, you're back out, I guess. Mm -hmm. Until you're back out of wild shape. What if not? What does exhaustion do? <laughs> level one. Fuck you. Well, four levels of exhaustion. Hold, you should be able to. If you go on the conditions, it should tell you. Yeah, there's a little arrow. So, level one disadvantage on ability checks. Level two half speed. Level three disadvantage oh, yeah. on attack rolls and saving throws. Level four hit point maximum halved. <laughs> well, you're on one HP right now. But if you, I say, if you wild shape, you, those aren't going to affect you because you're essentially using a magical ability to take upon the physical attributes of something else. Uh, fantastic. So you're there on the ground, <laughs> looking up. You feel like shit. Roll over just to see them both fucking unconscious. <laughs> yes, that's right. To, uh, <laughs> up until I all shit, really, haven't I? <laughs> Andrea's asked if I'm going for the TPK this week. Which, <laughs> that was not my plan. Do you need to ask? <laughs> um, yeah, okay. I mean, I assume even if I was going to try healing, I'd have to be getting up first anyway. You can heal, do healing word laying down. Is it just like verbal? Oh, no, wait. You want to do cure wounds because you want to ship up, shift afterwards, I guess. Because you wild shaping is a bonus action. Mm. Yeah. So you are in touch range of someone. Please. You're okay. in touch range of Mars. You don't have to get up with that. You can just on the floor kind of I guess. crawl over. Yeah, okay. So he roll. He sees the two of his companions just unconscious and yeah, casts um, second level cure wounds on Mars just reaching out so okay so 2d8 plus uh, your wisdom modifier uh, I believe, yes so 2d8 where's the other d8 I'm scared to roll 12 Ooh. plus oh god what's my wisdom modifier it's not bad yeah um 4 so 16 it's nice and then as bonus action yeah, I'm going to wild shape Alive. into... <laughs> Let me see which one has the most fucking health. Uh, giant hyena. Okay, you will yourself to change, and as you start to transform, you instantly feel it's something's wrong as you transform. <laughs> as you start to transform, your shape isn't shifting into that of a giant hyena. You... I'm like a werewolf! Your flesh changes colour... And you transform into a ghoul instead. Okay. So uh, look up the stats for a ghoul, because that's what you now are. Fuck. <laughs> you got painted into that face, so easily. Your face just then was like... <laughs> okay. Come into the reality of it, is all. Okay. I'm guessing a ghoul is hostile to everything, including the mimics. No, no, he, or is he he's, still, he's still fully in control. Just, oh. Just physically. <laughs> He's just turned into something else. Uh, okay. It's making me... <laughs> You'd get... Um, and yes. uh, for a point, for the point of it as well, yeah. if you have, um, I believe they have undead resilience, where you get to, like, if they would be knocked down, um, you would still get that and it would apply in preventing you from being... Um, turned back into your normal form so you would get to roll undead resilience to, to stay on one hit point oh, yeah. in your okay. ghoul form 
It's making me download a thing. Hold on. Oh, sorry. That's right. You can probably Google it, can't you? Yeah, D&D &D Eagle. D &D Eagle um, all right, anything one. else on your turn? Uh, I think... Oh, let me, I think that's it, because I've done an action and bonus, haven't I? So. Yeah. As you, you were here, you can move still. Oh, well, you're next to a mimic, so maybe not. No. And you, you guys who are conscious, watch <laughs> as your friend just kind of starts to shift. You think, oh, he's changing. I've seen this before. And then just this twisted, undead form presents itself. Still looks alert, but you're like, ah. I'm going to be so confused when I come to. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, oh. <laughs> you're not going to fucking attack me. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, good. But you'll see me attacking the mimic. Vaka, roll a death save, please. Someone's gonna have to use a free action to tell me. Oh shit, yeah, death save. Uh, fifteen. Okay, so that's one pass. Uh, Tova, you yeah. and uh, Aslak. I need to cure wounds, the big boy. Okay. I can touch him, yes. Yes, you can. Cure wounds, yeah, you. I know, I know, I know. I fixed it up. Sorry. Oh, nice. Nine. Thank you. You're welcome. And then I'm going to have Oslog attack this one, down, you know? Hmm. Yep. Closest. Go, Oslog, go. Okay. But it's better time than off of this. Uh, I'm not unconscious, you're right. Oh, fuck it now. Or rather, no. loving yeah. <laughs> if I get a turn, it's going to be great. <laughs> Eleven. No, no, it doesn't hit. Sorry. Owl's log just crunching down. Cat's fairly agile. Um, anything else? Do you have a bonus action you want to use or anything? I think no. Cast Hunter's Mark has a bonus action, no? If you want to. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, because you've used a level spell, so you can't. Okay. Um, okay. Top of the round, everybody gets their reactions back. It's the Mimics. Uh, the one... That undead's popped up. It's going to go at you, but it only gets to roll. Doesn't get advantage anymore. Doesn't get sneak attack anymore. Oh, this probably well, an undead don't, uh, does ten hit. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, so you dodged a bite, and then so the the paw comes up, turns into the tentacle again. Even worse. <laughs> and with the surprisingly agile, and this is probably the first thing you notice something's weird that this ghoul really quickly ducks underneath it. Where the fuck did he come from? <laughs> um, the other one is going to... <laughs> it's going to try and bite Ausler. Just tried to bite him, so, you know. Um, 11. No. Okay, same thing. This time it's going to spin its whole body around and the pseudopod will come out of the tail. Uh, 15. No. <laughs> Alright, stop it. I, I was due a bad round, I suppose. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, so there then, haunting over Mars, you're back up. Okay. You're hurt, you've got some holes in you. Yeah. <laughs> and you watched your friend turn into a undead creature after being dead. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to mess did, her up for a while. He did heal you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, he did heal you first. Um, I'm going to do something cool and new. Oh. I'm going to turn invisible. Okay. I can once per long rest without using a spell slot. Um, turn either invisible or use ray of sickness. So I'm gonna turn invisible. That's my action. Okay. And then I'm going to <laughs> I'm gonna use a bonus action because I'm pretty sure I'm still just on the ground. I haven't stood up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna use bonus action. Give me a sec uh, to heal. <laughs> Where did it go? <clears throat> uh, you, you can use action movement to get up. Yeah. 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 I still haven't moved yet, so I could do that definitely. But being invisible. Well, yeah. I'm fine. Okay. Where did it go? Healing word on Vaka. I can do first level. I can't do any more than that for bonus action. You can do healing word at any level as a bonus action. Oh my god. It's just always <laughs> a bonus action. Okay, then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a second level healing word for you. 2d4. That's a d6. Nope, 2d4. Pointy. Count drops. 4, Four plus. plus 5, 9. Oh. Boop. Okay. 
and then I guess I'll, I'll stand up. Okay. Are you going to move at all? You've still got half your movement. Um, how far can I move? 15, because you've got half your movement to stand up. Okay, so I'll go here. That's Five. 10. Five. 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 Yep, 10. Okay. Uh, Mimic's had blind sight, so it's going to try and bite you as you run away. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> 16 hit. Yeah. Uh, one, two, <coughs> three, oh boy, four. I'm fine. <laughs> Is she still fine? Are you? Are you sure? Uh, 19 points of damage. Okay, I'm back <laughs> down. <laughs> but you don't know where I am. <laughs> no, it wouldn't stay. You wouldn't stay invisible, unconscious. Okay. And that would also mean would you not still be within range of it? You yeah, you would not have been there. You'd be there. Oh yeah, <laughs> we can change. Well, it. that was short-lived. There's a lot you're seeing <laughs> as you come to. I, I, just chaos, just disorganized. <laughs> hey, as you said, invisible. I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now we're learning. The more yeah. you know. All right. You just don't even know how. You think you got lucky. Yeah. You don't even know. You found you your stats. Know. Yeah. Okay. Are you are you are you disappointed or are you okay with this? Uh, Less health than I was hoping for. Um, you got this. I guess I'm just going to try claw the one that fucking chomped me. Okay. Um, which dice well? 12. 12? No. Um, Is that 12 total? Uh, yeah, so with plus 4 to hit, that was nice. Oh. So. Um, I think I can do anything with. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything else. Um, I, the only bonus action I think I can do while wild shape is heal. I currently don't need it. Um, Show me my oh, foot. Oh god, am I still going to be able to use that? What? The healing is in wild shape. Um, yes. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I can't do anything else. I don't think then. Okay. That's a cool. Right. Vaka! Avenge right. me. <laughs> um, I'm going to also go for the one that's um, in front there. Yeah, they haven't taken, neither of them have taken no damage yet. So, <laughs> straight away swing with my quarter staff. Uh, that is a dirty 20. Yeah, that hits. Um, what's the difference between the attacks? It's 1d6 and 1d8. I can't remember which one. Uh, the quarter staff. Yeah, is it one handed? Is it D, D eight for one handed? It's D ten for two handed. I believe. This is one D six plus three or one oh, D eight okay. plus three. Oh, one D six then. One D six. Yeah, one D six. What's one D eight for then? Two handed. Is that not what I'm doing? No, because no? you don't. Two monks. Oh, I had to stand up as well. And most that monks don't get to use two handed weapons. Fair. Um, so I stood up. This. Oops. Let's try again. Two plus three is five damage. And then also gonna flurry of blows. There. Uh, nope. Eight. Okay. So, nope. Second one. You get two flurry of blows attacked. You get one attack with your bonus action, yeah. or if you spend a key point to flurry of blows, you get two. Oh, so it's a, it's a free as a bonus action. I thought the bonus action would be a key no, point. No, no. All right, I'll do it again. I never realised that was the case. Yeah, if you spend a key point, you get two of them. Nine. <laughs> no. Okay. So, shouldn't have done. Um, well. Worth a go, right? Well, you guys are rolling shocking. This is not good. Okay. Tova. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sweet little baby angel's just fallen down. <laughs> I'm going to go... I disappeared for two seconds. And then here's some rolls. Uh, <laughs> so you're stepping forward? Two daggers in my hands. Okay. No. Oh. No. 11. Okay. Second attack. No. Oh boy. <laughs> that one's going away. <laughs> <laughs> Roll B one hundred, please, Nicole. No. <laughs> <laughs> you guys really are rolling atrociously. It's, just it's not particularly high AC. Seventy. I got one hit off. Yeah. Or seven, whichever way you want to do that. Uh no, it's seventy. Okay, Nicole. Yes, Robert. Roll a d20. Oh. If it's high, 
you accidentally attack Auslog. If it's low, you accidentally attack. <gasps> you monster. Hi. So Auslog, roll damage. <clears throat> For the second, yeah, the second one. And you do get to edge your modifier. Where did all my D4s <laughs> go? Wow. Oh, that's TPK. <laughs> the dice are telling a story here. <laughs> I could do nothing else, and I think you might all just die anyway. Yeah. At this point. Just incompetence. I had the feeling you might be retreating out of the There's temple one. for a long rest before you carry on. <laughs> yeah, thank. Is if we come back. One. What's the plus? <laughs> if we can make three. it out. Three. <laughs> so, <laughs> our friend takes four points. Army, think it back in. Okay. I could do that. Auslog uh, took four points of damage oh, from Tova's wave thing, and is Auslog going to attack the? Oh, she probably <clears> wants to attack me, though. Yeah. No, she's your baby. She'll know she's the next thing. No. Okay. <laughs> Top of the rounds. <sighs> um. You actually hit it, so of course it's going to go for you. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's your armor class? Fourteen. <clears throat> oh yes. Oh. It was a nine. What, plus five. Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna just heal you. <laughs> uh, ten points of damage. Well, there goes that healing, isn't it? Yeah. And then that will not hit. That was two. Thank God. Uh, all right, the other one is gonna turn around, back. and it's gonna go for that slot. Uh, seventeen. Yes. Oh, it's not you know what would be really cool if it wasn't unconscious? I get opportunity attacks. Mm. Just, just ask me. Uh, oh. Uh, 21. Yeah, she's gone. <laughs> uh, that means the pseudopod tentacle is going to swipe at you. 21. Yep. <clears throat> Are we going to die? I think we're going to oh, die. I, I think we're going to die. I don't know how much health mimics have, but I think we are. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Eight points Eight of damage. Points of damage. Okay, that's the end of their turn. Mars, make a death saving throw, please. Cool. <laughs> Love this. I'm not going to use this dice anymore. No, <laughs> so that's a fail. <laughs> Are you oh, sure you didn't want to use that? Okay. <laughs> Why are we all rolling so badly? Arthur. Is it too late to make uh, a pact with a god? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> you you would know. <laughs> it may not fucking help. <laughs> um, I guess same fucking thing. Claws. Okay, roll the hit. On the same one. Fuck <laughs> on. <God>, no. <laughs> Why can't you guys hit anything? I can. I'm only one in three. What? Single digits oh. the whole time. You don't need like bonus action, like attacks. Either. You can you can drop out of your wild shape and try again for a different one. I think it's a free action to drop out of your wild shape. I think so. And then, in which case, you could bonus action to go to a different one. Try oh, anyway. Never. <laughs> Back to a ghoul. <laughs> oh come the fuck! Oh, no, I just realised what you mean. What? So. Am I not necessarily going to go back into a ghoul? <laughs> no, not necessarily. <clears throat> oh, God. Depends what you're trying to wash up into, I guess. Oh, I see. Okay, I mean... You would definitely be able to choose to become a ghoul whenever you like in future. So wait, is it... So it's a free action to come out of Wild Shape? I think so, yeah, pretty sure. Um... In that case, hold on, I need to check something because I may have a. Has he got a plan? My plan is to not die. Did you want to get Thomas' dice like to try? <laughs> no. <laughs> if I came out and then cast Healing Spirit, I assume it wouldn't heal them straight away. It has to be at the. They have to go through it to when, heal them. Whenever a creature you see moves into the spirit space for the first time or on a turn starts there, I assume I can't just spawn it on her and it will heal. You can, and it would heal it on the start of her turn. Her turn. Well, it's got a radius, you could put it right in the middle. Yeah, because right. it's got a range and it would heal all of us on our turns, right? Heal them too. Yeah. And that. Oh, it's that, indiscriminate. I mean. Yeah. Uh, it's a really good out of combat here because you can run through it ten times each. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But we'll have to outpace the damage it does. 
No, it's fine. I won't then. Okay. If I'm just... You can undo and and say, go for a wild trip again. You do what you gotta do. I, make me. Um, I tell you what. Make me a just a standard ch- w- wisdom roll, but disadvantage because you keep your own mem thingy ability. Disadvantage. Uh, plus. Not enough. Six. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yeah, you, you don't know for sure. I would think you would. When you wild shape, you will your body with, and you know it's a feeling. You channel magical energy and you think of the creature and you will the feeling. Okay. You do know how it felt for this to happen. Whether or not you can fight past it is something which that role you just got leaves you unsure. Okay. Um. I think I, don't, I think I'm going to just end it there. Emma Zana, I'm not going to try Wild Jake on this one. Okay. Vaca. Go for hitting it, I guess. Uh, 22. Yeah, that hits. Um, and then it's a, what is it, D6. Uh, plus three, so another five points of damage there, please. Are you using your fists? No, that's the, that's the quarter stuff. Oh, okay. Then I'm going to flurry and blow there again. <laughs> So, next attack. Oh, uh, 24 with a flurry of blows. Yep. Um, so that's 1d4 plus uh, 3, and I get an effect of it. Um, but for that effect, do I need to add the key point? The first if, only if it says. If it says. But it says after you take the action on your turn, you can spend one key point to make two unarmed strikes. Yeah. Ahead. So you have to Bonus spend. Stack. You've, as long as you do an attack with the monk weapon or your fists, yeah. you can spend the key point. Yep. to do flurry of blows as a bonus action which is two more attacks if you don't right. spend the key point you can use your bonus action to do one additional punch I see okay okay that's making it more sense so I've got I've not been using it properly with the two attacks but that's fine so that's the first one and then I can spend a key point to do a couple of things if I want to with it okay I think and also I have open hand thinking. whenever you hit with one of your flurry of blows attacks you can impose oh no that's not a key point extra. No, no, that's just I can either um, make him full prone, push him up to 15 feet, or he can't take a reaction. I think I want it prone, so I need a deck saving throw. DC 11, please. That's just my first one of them. He passes. Okay. So then my second flurry of blows attack. <laughs> that's fine. In, in but if I hit, I get to do the same thing. It's almost like he can't be made prone. Uh, 15. Just hit. Okay, so... Wait, did I do, did I do what was the damage on that I previous didn't do it. one? Sorry. No, thanks. Uh, that's going to be four on the first one. The second one hitting is going to be five. Okay. And that one, I'd like to push him um, 15 feet with a strength saving throw. Uh, again, DC 11. Passes. Okay. Is it good? It doesn't look good. <laughs> I'm the only one that's hit this damn thing, so... He doesn't look good, that one. These uh, they, they hit hard, these ones, but clearly not huge amounts of health. All right. But I know I'm going to get told from the Tova. So, you know. Yeah. Yep. You're a natural one away from death. You know that, right? Okay. <laughs> Someone heal me, please. Okay. <laughs> no. Oh, shit. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize that. 12. 12. And then outslog. Come on, outslog. Yeah, she Natural did. 20. I thought she did. So, yeah, she, like oh, no, she's dead. Yeah, she's gone. Oh, I forgot she died. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Shut her back to oh, her. Natural 20. Oh, <laughs> all right, shut her back. She's just gone and dead. No, I was more worried for the sad about oh, the dice roll. That's just how to do it. Of course, is. that's the one that... <laughs> all right, top of the round. Uh, Sorry to remind you of that one. That's fine. It's but... the mimics again. Oh, boy. Lay it on me. Because it's going to be me. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be. Yeah, I've it's done so much damage to it. Come on. They weren't able to hit it, so... Right, first attack, the bite. What's your AC? 14. Oh, yeah, that hits. Fuck. How many hit points you got? Eight. 4d6 plus three. Yeah, just down. That's fine. Unless I roll four ones. Or two. Uh, yeah, no, you're right. No, there's a six not. and there's 12. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. 20, 21. Don't bother telling me. 
It's right. fine. I'm unconscious again. <coughs> yeah, come back from come uh, back into 18 to, to you for the pseudopod. Hit. Five points of uh, blood wound damage. Nice. Okay. And the other one is... Actually, the other, uh, the other one's not going to... Yeah, it's going to go for you. You. Who's you? You. Okay, so far. And eight won't hit. Nine. That wasn't actually a roll. I just knocked the dice <laughs> with my finger. I was looking at that. I shouldn't count that. I didn't actually <laughs> roll it. Um, that's not going to hit. Either. What's your AC? 14. Yeah, that wasn't going to hit. Just missed by one. Fucking shit. I mean, good, well dodged. <coughs> <coughs> Wish I could say the same thing about myself. Yeah, it must be nice. <laughs> All right, um, Mars, don't oh. roll in that one. Sure, oh. I can control that easily. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I can control that easily. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Mars. I, I almost just want to move the, move the mat down so that it can be seen. <laughs> can see, then that one is, that, is that visible? I can't tell if it's visible. It's just yeah. blending into the It's thing. blending in quite well. Of course. <laughs> of course. There are clerics <laughs> about, right? Should we just yeah. start a not new campaign? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not starting a new <laughs> campaign on <laughs> session five. <laughs> that would be my nice thing. Okay, so you more royals. if you can get out of here, there are a billion clerics outside. And you've got gold in your pocket. I've got so much gold. <laughs> On my person, in my pockets. You were the charismatic one, though. So Would your convincing... parents pay to bring you back? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Doesn't mean let you go out adventuring after this, though. No. No, she's traumatized. <laughs> You're going to be grounded for life. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, you guys look on as Mars. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you guys look on <laughs> As Mars seems to be trying to pick herself up and then just move slightly and blood gushes. Seemingly torn something open and the colour drains for her face and Mars is dead on the floor. <laughs> uh, by the balance, this shouldn't be a difficult encounter. <laughs> um, Arthas. Okay, so it's not an action to... It doesn't, it's not an action to fine. drop water. Okay. No. I do that then, and I cast. Um, am I? Can I touch him or no? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're well, you're dropping it, so you're not this anymore. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. And then you um, move next. Oh, to, you are on one hit point on this board. Yeah, yeah, I know. But again, it's a bonus action to then turn yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. So, cure wounds second level on him. Uh, 11 11 plus plus just after you send me all that backstory stuff. <laughs> I think it's so funny. <laughs> He's sent me a bunch of backstory stuff this afternoon. Yes. 15. 15. That and should then, be fine. It should be fine. <laughs> what bonus wild action? Shape in? Wild shape back in. Go it. Take a moment to just pause and think about the what he's just the person he's just met. And trying really hard to focus on Sylvanas. Yeah. <laughs> you do this time as you you don't actually struggle. Um, but like I say, you know the feeling. So you feel like if you would want to change into a ghoul at any point in the future. I now can. You now can. Fantastic. I have no idea if that will be helpful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Blending in. On can, a ghouls talk, can ghouls talk to other undead? <laughs> That's where we find out one day. But the, yeah, he may not try. Um, okay. Like Sean of the Dead. <laughs> so he's. Is, you're no longer unconscious. No, I'm no longer unconscious. Okay. Thank God. Um, and then, <coughs> but I'm coming to it. Was horrified that something. Can, Mars is dead on the floor. Yeah. So okay. I probably still think you're unconscious. To be fair. Cool. Yeah, because no, you no, didn't see my me action, die. Yeah. Then. You haven't really moved as far as I can tell. Maybe uh, you should just disengage. Vaca. Perhaps. This one in front of you doesn't no, look I'm good. Fucking killing it. Okay. I hope so. Uh, 13 on that first roll? No. No, nope. flurry of blows again. Just got to get it all in. Definitely not. And again, <laughs> back to back twos on that. You could have just run away. <laughs> the only upside is I just turned into a giant thing next to it, so maybe. 
but I haven't hit it, so it shouldn't attack yeah. me on yeah, that's what I think. It should hopefully go for me. Totally, say, hopefully. Yeah. What, can, what do you do? Well, I'm gonna fucking hit it. Well, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> It's a relative term. It's all, it's all we've been it's trying to do. All we've been trying to do. Sometimes you have these fights <laughs> where it shouldn't be that difficult, but you can't. Oh, 16. It is! Yeah. It is! <laughs> Avenge me. Five. Okay. That will hit as well. Thank you. Ooh. Seven. Nice, you get a couple of nice stabs in, and it looks like a cat mostly, but then when you draw the blades out, the blood is like a greeny acidic blood that's running out of it. Um, anything else? No. Stop it around, it's their turn. And yeah, that one is going to take a swipe at the giant creature that's just yeah. okay. morphed in front of it. 11? Nope. Less? <laughs> And the other one, yeah, you just stab, you just really stabbed it, so. Yeah. 16. Yeah. And then the pseudopod is 15. Yeah. How much health have you got? 24. Oh, okay, you might be okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't roll that high. Okay, good. Uh, 15. Not that high. <laughs> I mean, comparatively. <laughs> 15, 15. Uh, um, oh, 21. Okay. You're still alive. That's right. Wish to say, such either. Crunch! Smack! Mm -hmm. I'll be fine. Was it Worst Randy? Give me a second, though. Randy from <laughs> South Park. I didn't hear no bell right now. That's what Tony <laughs> looks like. <laughs> Just stood there covered in blood, two blades in hand, very cross. Um, if Mars is permitted, I have an idea for who did. Oh! Yeah. Uh, 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 so you're up. Um, I go to. Mars isn't getting the turn. No. Bite on that one then. Yep. Kill it! <laughs> Nine! You don't get pack tactics then? Uh, not with him, no. Okay. Nine does not hit. Uh, can you do anything else? No, I can't. The only bonus action I can do in Wild Shape is heal. And he's currently on full health. The only thing, he get, Heine gets rampage, so if I kill that one, I get to take another attack on the other okay. one. Mm. But, but you didn't land that I think I can hit it! <laughs> Yeah. Right, same fucking thing again. Let's go. Uh, that's an eleven. That's not gonna work. So we're gonna do your last key point. Yeah, my last key point. I'm sorry, blows. At least I get one arm strike. Yeah. And that first <laughs> nat one perception check. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Another nat one. Yeah. What do you want? D one hundred. <laughs> Maybe you'll accidentally slip and just accidentally throw your dagger at the, the, the <laughs> mimic. Eighty one. <sighs> Is there anything good on the net one table? Is it all just unfortunate? <laughs> no, it's all bad. <laughs> you crash into... Uh, you crash into all adjacent allies. You are all knocked prone and lose all movement this round. So you, I mean, okay, you so can so stand me, up. Me and Tova. Well, is he going oh, well, to knock and a giant... And him, he's four squares. I am a giant hyena. So he's not immediately adjacent. I could touch you to heal you. Oh, is it, is it the size I of I am you? a giant hyena. Does that make a difference? I'll give you a saving throw versus his spell save, DC. Okay. How's that? Sh what? Strength, what? strength save. What even is my... Oh, wait, are you me? I don't have spells. Uh, what's your... You're a monk. Wisdom modifier. Oh, 11. That's from your thing. So, 11. 11. 12! Okay. So, he's fine. Plus your strength. So, yeah, you managed to okay, stay up. So, half a minute, I'm going to stand up and I'm going to do my second flurry blow. Like... I've lost everything, I can still... Yeah, yeah still Jesus. punch. I, if I lost everything, can I stand up? Well, you can punch while laying down. Fuck it, yeah. <laughs> Just kick him. Uh, that's a Yay. 22. That's going to hit. Um, Kill it. So that's my second key point. So it's a... What did we say? It was a D4. D4 plus 3. Um, and I'll also try and do the 15 foot... Push it 15 foot. Okay. So that is going to be a... Seven. Okay, so you, Mainly as you were falling turn. to the ground from your wayward Bang. strike before, you call Monkshire this plant one hand on the ground, <laughs> spin your body round, and as you come round, you do a sweeping kick nice. on the cat mimic's legs, and actually, you sweep through all four, and they all snap off, and it drops down, and it's trying to reform itself, and, and that one's dead. Good. Oh, thank God. Not many hit points. I think I had about five hits on it total, though. Um, so reasonably, we should have been an easy fight. 
<laughs> Tova. You would think, yeah. Sadie. You, you can, think you can do some stabs if you want. On my <coughs> <coughs> and then turn into a ghoul. Yeah. You've had two deaths. That will hit. <sighs> in one encounter. What's that? Five. That's mm-hmm. going to hit as well. Seven. That's From five. your position on the ground. How would you like to do this? Oh, Yay. dab him! <laughs> He's just <laughs> falling on the ground. You're like, holy fuck! <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm gonna cry. Yeah. You can see Tova picking moving. herself up off the ground, using the knife to get leverage in the side <laughs> of the mimic, and just rage Brutally. stabbing. Yeah. This is a fun game. <laughs> it's not been that difficult. <laughs> Should not have been that difficult. They had 21 hit points each. You just didn't they, hit. They hit so hard. <laughs> I well. didn't hit it once. They hit hard. Uh, but you were a distraction that last time, which was enough for me. Because I kept getting hit. So, <laughs> you do hear a. Is everything alright? Coming from the room that you left behind you. The answer is oh, fucking no. <laughs> <laughs> One of the guards in his. What's a oh shit in bloody hell? Um, hold on. Someone fetch for Vorgrim! And you can do that. Um, well, should we get the? F- um, should we get them? Should we get out of here for now? What do you want? To, I assume you want out of here with your. Yeah, come on, speak. <laughs> Arthur just reverts okay. back into human shape. Just y- yeah, just goes to pick up. Are you missing an arm from all that? Because you did—that's how you were killed. No, no, no he was—he was, he he was bitten through. But oh, didn't actually I thought he off. So ate up his arm. No, um, <laughs> we need to go. <laughs> in, how are, your passive perception is really high. You're not carrying shit in your condition. You know, with four points of exhaustion. He, he goes over to try and pick up this kid. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm gonna just grab my other body and throw it over my shoulder. And not super gracefully because I'm not feeling great after all that. You your passive perception is quite high, isn't it? Or I don't think it's. I don't think oh, no, yours. My passive. Is. <laughs> She's dead my right passive right. perception is thirteen. Okay. It's not hard. Uh, there's a lot happening though. Nobody's gonna notice this small detail just yet. Um, with that, the the guard helps you. And, and gets up and actually kind of kind of looking over your back as you kind of get shepherded out as you get to the bottom you know you've seen up and they the commander reseal um and you got a couple of uh, over and a few of them you know some a couple of other clerics hanging around and um a one of them goes stay still don't worry um and you, you're all pretty badly hurt, aren't you? Not as bad as I have been, but yeah. Um, so you get ten points of healing. Okay. You get ten points of healing, and you get eleven points of healing. Twelve points of healing, sorry. Um, fine. Oh my. Um, this one goes. Look, starts looking at it. Let's put it down. Put it down. What was her what was her name? Um Mars. You might be in luck anyway. Um the nature of the work that we're undertaking here. We have supplies on hand. Um the Order of the Gardens may be asking you to pay back for the material costs, though. Um, is that something you think you'll be capable of? We'll be fine, just do it. Okay. Bear with me. Okay. And you see, coming down this rather grumbly looking dwarf, 
um, very grey pale skin you would recognise as a Durgar and kind of massive beer man oh, bloody hell people are coming in oh, not this all again there's enough with you lot in that fucking another stupid plate all right. All right. your friend Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Name? Nice. Alright. He pulls out fucking great diamond. You're not part of what's working on here. So someone's going to have to pay back 500 gold. Yeah, that's fine. Can I just check Mars's pocket? She got that much. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have that much, but I'm also like, you can see clearly on my horns, like yeah. necklaces and things. I'm, I'm adorned. Yeah. It's all right. Now, from a mechanical point of view, really, <clears throat> I don't, I, I use the critical role method of resurrection spells. This is not guaranteed. Okay? Mm -hmm. What we do is, it's like a skill game. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> There's... Um, you'll, there's only three of you, so you'll all be asked to contribute. Mm -hmm. Okay? There's a, st there's a flat DC, but it changes depending on how successful you are or not in the, the various skill things. You can do something, use spells, or say something whatever you want to do in some way influence the ritual so once the spell begins you have to uh, do it but this ritual will take an hour to complete okay so in that process you will be asked to intervene and reach out to Mars in some way to help Ada coming back okay so See Vorham going around, he starts to <coughs> draw a bit of a circle around Mars. <coughs> and Mars, on that, there's a pretty nasty wound in your chest. And the diamond is pushed into that wound oh. at this point. Yeah, like Tony Stark. I wasn't really like Steven Universe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like the Tony Stark though, keeping it. Um, we'd actually be looking for four interventions, so someone can do twice, but we'll worry about that at the time. Vorim follows him as he stands above you and holds his hands. He starts to mutter, Moradin, Moradin, let me your power. And he reaches down, and as he touches the chest, the diamond starts to melt slowly. You're probably watching for about 20 minutes. And as this diamond melts, it spreads across the wounds that have carved into Mars's body. Just... And healing all the various imperfections that you can see in the physical form around. And after about 20 minutes of this, he nods. Who's going to make the first intervention? Now, a bit like the skill game, don't tell me oh, I want to use this skill. Tell me what you're going to do, and I will let you know the skill. <clears throat> um. If she does this, this is a really cool scar. <laughs> <laughs> instruments were you carrying? <laughs> I've got a lute, I've got a drum, I've got <clears throat> I've got like four or five instruments just on my person at any time so I think mix it up. Step four is just to um, pick up the drum and just starts to play a melody uh, like a druidic thing from his home in an attempt to well, retrieve music? Yeah. 
roll. But. And again, it's disadvantage, so roll disadvantage performance check, please. Oh, yeah, you're a culture. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. That's not a d20. None of it's There you go. Uh, Good thing I that. Yeah. So, 13, but I'm proficient with drums. You are? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, had a proficiency modifier onto it as well. So, you had... Um, it's your charisma modifier and your proficiency modifier that you're adding to this. Your, like, your proficiency bonus is plus two. Plus two, so it just cancels out. So, yeah. yeah. 13. So your DC that you start with basically is a flat 10. Each success takes away three. Oh, no, sorry, fifth, sorry, just 15. Okay. Each success minus is three. Each fail plus is one to the DC that I have to roll. Okay. So. One way up and okay. So we're down it was seven. A 10, so it's taking away three, yeah. seven. Yeah. Okay. So, after this is down there, just... You hear maybe a few words from his homeland as he's tucking away a nice, soothing melody on the drum. Who's stepping up next? I, I mean, I was just thinking I would um, either while that's happening or whatever, um, be looking around trying to grab some like you know roots or herbs or whatever I can find to create some sort of either medicinal or just something that I would have known how to make from being up in the mountains that would be good for healing so that once she is back, just sort of, you know, make that's good for like, you know, trauma or whatever to calm people. Make a medicine check. Okay. 19. You have some bits on your pieces and you find there's some mosses and stuff in the cave and you bind it all together on a piece of sh with a piece of string and it's, it's got that earthy kind of smell and you're able to go and rest it um, on the now healed chest of Mars and I hope that the smell and senses of it reach her from you. Hi. What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to kneel down and sit by Mars, like her head's like here, little cross legged. Yeah. And I'm gonna fix all her little jewels and stuff and start like brushing her hair and talk about what we've done in the past so she remembers. And, and that she still has a lot of cool things to find. So she can't go just yet. Make a persuasion check with advantage. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Mars loves cool stuff. That was so sweet. <laughs> like, I can't not give that advantage. Oh yeah. Okay. Actually, no, Even my though it's seventeen because I have negative one. That's fine. I actually don't know. It is only three people that I need to contribute. So, okay. So, with that, please roll a d twenty. Okay. <laughs> she needs to be good or bad. Just, just she just needs to roll. Okay. Just any modifiers or just. That's enough. Because yeah. everybody succeeded. Yeah. <laughs> was that basically if she got on that one again? So, as the, <laughs> actually, in fairness, I, well, I didn't say that. Was, every time you die and you're resurrected in this man or with this with any kind of resurrection spell, it changes your base total by one. So if you die again, they're starting from eleven. Mm. Because you started from ten with three successes, even if you rolled a one, you were fine. I just made you roll drama. One. Drama. Yeah, yeah. Um, Mars, however, that, that is. <laughs> Were you a bit nervous then? When I was around? Okay. <laughs> so, you guys, as the hour approaches, you see first Mars's chest slowly start to move. And Mars and yourself, as your senses, you hear this lovely drum beat in the background. And then you take a deep breath in, you're like, and it, the smell, it, it makes you think of Vaka. You've, you've seen him preparing herb packs or teas and various things, you know, it's got that kind of like Goliathy, like, I'm sure he carries around stuff like that. And then you feel in your head and you open up your eyes and your head is resting in the legs of Tova's cross slab as your eyes open. 
And you look up and you can see she's looking down at you. Crying? Ah, oh, just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard so, to tell a story if you're bawling your face on <laughs> And <laughs> So you are back. You are on one HP, and I'd like you to roll a D four, please. Um, <laughs> your exhaustion. Okay. okay. What? You have one point of exhaustion. <laughs> it's not even that bad. <laughs> the one time I rolled well in the whole <laughs> thing was for exhaustion. Yeah, okay, but does she now have like diamond infused in her, or is it hollow? No, no, she's healed. Oh, that'll be so oh, cool. Though. That would be awesome. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Just like stretch marks, but it's just like yeah. diamond everywhere. <laughs> That'd be very Mars. It'd be so cool. Yeah, you'd have people attacking you to try and harvest your Oh yeah, I'd be a target. <laughs> she's just she's already into got like fucking... jewels and stuff and stuff in her hair. <laughs> she's kind of a target anyway. So, Mars, as you're really staring expecting. up at Tova, what do you... I think, I think she starts crying. I think she'd be very overwhelmed. Okay. Yeah. You are just a baby. Yeah. <laughs> She's scared and overwhelmed because she's crying. Can we go two deaths at session five? <laughs> <laughs> we roll really well. Yeah, Thank well, God you rolled well on the skill check. <gasps> you wouldn't have wouldn't have been a problem if you'd rolled that well in combat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So as everything's yeah, calmed me. down, Tova, as you look, you know you're there. You're on Mars. You're looking around. You suddenly notice something. What do I notice? On the back of his right hand. What is it? It's a, like a tattoo oh. of a black cat. Just like the ones that were inside <laughs> that room. And it's curled up kind of like it's asleep. What do you mean? Is it moving? Make a perception check. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Cut it off? No. Yeah. Cut it off? <laughs> it doesn't appear to be moving. But you haven't even noticed this yet. Because of everything that's going on, you haven't spotted there's a black cat on the back of your. I right have now. quite high passive perception as well, to be fair. At and disadvantage, because uh, your exa- your levels of exhaustion, yeah, it would be minus five. Okay. And with everything going on, I'm saying you're slightly distracted. Okay. So I'm, am I rolling with disadvantage? Uh, no, no, no you're, I just you, don't notice. You don't notice at this point. You're <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah. Do you say anything? <laughs> it's very obviously the same as the cats that were inside. Mm. So, why did you have time to do that? Do what? Your hands? No, what the? F- um. He j- just kind of looks and just goes. Sounds about right. <laughs> I think we need to go have a lie down. <laughs> um. Does the cleric just, react to just, it at all? You get um, oh. another cleric comes, like the ones that were going around. If I can get the DH for some reason gets stuck more than the others in here. Arthas makes his way over to Mars as well. Uh, 17 points of healing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh god. <laughs> just seen a child die, goes over to just to be like, you okay kid? Yeah. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Could be better. Uh, just, yeah. Four grim, comfort. 500 gold. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, so... <laughs> what? About <laughs> that. <laughs> um, you, you give the impression your parents are rich, right? Yeah. We, we, we kind of owe them 500 gold to get you back to life. Uh, how much okay. money does everyone have? <laughs> Not that. Quick, quick round. <laughs> uh, 22. 30. <laughs> 32. 38. <laughs> How much is, is that enough? <laughs> um, mm. um, how much do we have? So how much actually was that totaled? Let's do math. Mm. About 120-ish. We, we've got this much. Uh, we can get you the rest. I'll send in. an invoice to the watchers uh, uh, to the Order of Guardians. Sounds good. Yeah. They'll be coming after you for it, though. Well, uh, that's fine. We, we'll sort it. We, just no. need to go, we need to go get some fucking baby mimics. <laughs> yeah, that's the way we're going to get the Do money. we have to right now? <laughs> yeah. I think we'll have a little bit of a break okay. first. I think we can There'll go be, back another time. There's plenty of room in the barracks. You can get some rest and some food. I'm not right. a monster. I'll try again tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not a monster. Two gold each for as many <coughs> nights food and board as you need while you're doing your stuff here. Thank you. Right. He holds out his hand. He's like, now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah fair. Hand over. 
So you have access to food and board for however many nights you need. Exhaustion, so you know, as long as you eat and you don't try and sleep in in her medium or heavy armor, um, <laughs> which is a very memories. specific fact. Yeah. <laughs> very specific thing we learn. Um, you will lose one point of exhaustion in the night. Oh, good. Cool. <laughs> if, you take, if you take a long rest. You want to sleep for like 24 hours till I'm on three. Can Can we? We? Well, you haven't rested yet. Uh -huh. yeah, but you will you're, be. you're making your way. Are you, am I assuming right now you're just going up oh, yeah. to sleep? Yeah. yeah. When when you guys are up in, in the barracks room, there is like, it's fairly open. There are people coming and going, and there's, but there's room down one end where there's bunk beds on two at each side that you can easily get. Um, it's a bit uncomfortable for you. Are you taking a top bunk I'll so take... your feet can hang over the edge nicely? <laughs> I suppose. I'll take whatever. Yeah. Um, I might even take the mattress off and sleep on the floor. Mm -hmm. Do you have any discussions you want to have between you <laughs> after such things? I don't want to talk about anything. Arthur, Arthur literally just looks at his hand, just goes to bed, just lies straight down. Why are you it? doing that? Are you laying in bed, like staring at, staring at your hand? Just like, lying in bed, just having a look at it, yeah. As you were looking at it. <laughs> that grin. <laughs> Something. The cat <laughs> starts to stand up and stretch. And it sort of spins around in a circle. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> the mimic teeth open up out the side of it, and then it curls back down into its oh, original fuck. position. Uh, is this all like completely two D? Like yeah, yeah just just the, the, like yeah. Mouth, does a mouth yeah. actually come out of my hand? It doesn't come out; it just <laughs> opens up. But it's it's it moves and did it, and then it curls back into its original position. So you wouldn't know if you well, hadn't seen. That can't be good. <laughs> um, can I do like any kind of check check on it or anything? Like, touch it, touch it, touch it. I'm not fucking touching it. <laughs> it's on you. <laughs> Pet it. <laughs> um, make an arcana check at disadvantage. Yeah. Can we put your hand in the fun box that we got from? Yeah. <laughs> Does it count? Yeah. yeah. Arcana. Hey, we got a baby. <laughs> yeah, disadvantage, yeah. Yes. Uh, fourteen. Um. Of course now. <laughs> yeah, of course now. You've never heard of magical tattoos. I have. Some. And then you remember the burning. <laughs> From the handshake. Mm -hmm. And he said about giving you a memento. Okay. <laughs> With a clearly very sick sense of humour. Yeah. Oh, we love those, aren't we? Well, I've got so many questions for Zabini. <laughs> Just goes to sleep. Okay. Hand maybe hanging off of the bed. <laughs> Just firing as well. <laughs> <laughs> You mean right. like this? You guys <laughs> do successfully complete a long rest. So I'm on, I'm on three. Three points of exhaustion now. So what does that do? Uh, it goes to... Scroll back down. Do you guys just want to take several nights just resting to let him recover? That's I think that's fine. fine. Okay, so I mean, we can just assume four days go past. Okay. And, nice. And you clear off. Let's take I mean, a, Maybe during that time we'd probably be... I don't know whether it's... I mean, you want to talk to other people about maybe getting a small group that we wouldn't go down with us. Maybe yeah. some just, clerics. Just, mm. Or a cleric or something. Maybe we could talk one into sort of being nearby, not necessarily having to fight anything, but being nearby should stuff go real bad again. Um, we should have taken a Zebby with us. <laughs> that was stupid on our part. The, what you would find out is the only one who has the... Uh, the the supplies and the you know, authority to do the high level magic which resurrects mm. is Volgrim mm. and he's not going to be standing on guard. However, there are always healers like in that in area there? because of the what's happening. Because of the nature, yeah. So, yeah, you, okay. there's, there's, there's healers nearby if needed, mm -hmm. but yeah, Volgrim's the only one that's going to be able to whip out something from supplies. But you would know, like, like well, those of you from. Well, perhaps you from connection with your dad and and maybe you think that it's weird that there's just a place that seems to, from what you heard, just heard, keep a decent stock of mm -hmm. stuff for resurrections. You know, what is happening that this in that end that you can't see, off. Yeah. right? That they would need, the, they would need a stock of resurrection diamonds. Is there a it's not about the mimic because the mimic has no. been sealed off. No. Is there From Mars point of view, that's super not important. <laughs> yeah. Are there any books or anything in this place that like a small library don't know? Okay. 
um, Arthas would have maybe asked a couple of the guards, tried, went out of earshot of that, of like, if they know who the Whisperer, the Whispered One is. The Whispered One. Whispered okay. One. Can I have a small bathroom? The guards wouldn't know. Yeah, I think I was so going to say, that. let's take a quick session <laughs> break. We need a break yeah. as well. Okay, so, you guys have spent a few days resting, recuperating, really trying to take stock of... Well, during those four days, is there anything you would have done, sending letters or conversations you would have seek, seeking out privately with other members of the party? And we can go through those things now. So, I think Marsh should send a letter to her parents about how they owe 500 gold now. <laughs> 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 is she specifying who died in the party? No, 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 no. <laughs> like, honestly, she should. Because if she doesn't, I don't... I don't know that they would be as, as tempted to pay that much. <clears throat> is Miles much of a liar? What's your deception like? Plus seven. Oh, massive liar. Yeah. Okay, so Wait, she wait wants what? To. <laughs> Did you plus seven? Plus seven. <laughs> well, she wants to. So, <laughs> you roll me a... Uh, Okay, I, I want you to make an insight check right now. On on my, my parents? On just yeah, roll an insight check. It's cause you're you're trying to gain insight into how your parents would respond to a letter. Okay. Twelve plus six, eighteen. Okay. You're like, <coughs> how can I do this? I don't want to tell them I died. Um because then they're gonna freak out and worry about me and then it dawns on you. Someone died saving my life. Or saving me from mm. harm. Mm. They pay for that, right? <clears throat> you tell the story of this heroic person. It's almost not a lie. just who pushed through. you out of the way to take a hit. You would have been fine, mm -hmm. but they just wanted to protect you from harm. And in the process, they, they fell, and it cost the money. Uh, they needed to use a diamond to, to bring them back. And now they owe this money. And would you please help? We're still early in our adventurer's career. I don't have that money. That kind of letter. You know, you could, from the basis of what yeah. I've said, you would pen a beautiful letter, <laughs> worded well. You would deliberately squeeze out some tears onto the paper. <laughs> so it'd be like water stains so they would know. And it'd be, you know. It's like XOXO. <laughs> yeah. So you would put that together and you'd be able to send that from there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do, I, you could include... Um, where to send the money to. Because it's got to go to the Order of the Guardians. Okay, yeah. That's um, so you could just put everything like that in there. Mm. And what you don't know is on the, the from getting back up in his tower after bringing you back to Live Vulgar and penned a letter to the Order of Guardians with everyone's names on saying, we had to use one of our diamonds. <laughs> we are owed this much money. Yeah, but that's going to your parents. They don't know that. They're just going to pay. As long as the audio card doesn't send a reply back to the bear. Hey, Mars died. <laughs> <laughs> so. If they find out I yeah, but that could, about that this. Could be, but that could be like, you could play it off as a case of like, um, Chinese whispers that kind of, well, really got twisted I think this genuinely Mars doesn't know that whole, this situation is kind of more convoluted. I think she's like, okay, my parents need to pay. Hmm. Um, anybody who witnessed it want to ask any questions of Arthur sort of, you know, turning into an undead creature. Nope, because I was unconscious for it. Hey. But... Well, I saw him drop it. <laughs> yeah, you did. So, hey, maybe that's just me that? thinking he can do that. <laughs> You're just like, yeah, sounds about right. Just not haven't the, seen it yet. Not assuming he tried to do something different. Yeah, you don't know many druids from the mountain. Well, there's not, there's mm -hmm. not, not much in the way of... Like I said, there's probably, some, there's quite, probably quite a few druids in the mountain. Imagine maybe not movie. specializing in wild shaping. No. So, like, not that I'm not totally grateful magic. for you. Like, where are we when, when you ask me this? <laughs> Probably away from everyone. Like the the other people. So they they might be around, but I don't want to out okay. them in front of a bunch of. How animals. how long has it been? Like how, how many days we just we just rested? Is that it? First day, second day, third day, fourth yeah. day. Pick one. So. Second day. I don't think she's enough. Very long. Okay. No. What's all that then? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to explain yourself? Uh, Pretty sure that's not an animal. Arthur's just kind of checked. Is there a... So wait, are we, are we in the keep or wherever still? Can we just check there's no one around? Yeah, you're yeah. in a quiet place. Okay. Uh, 
looks at his tattoo. I don't really know. Um, okay. Arthur's yeah, been um, thinking to himself about he's now kind of committed to do his, the task he's after. He doesn't really think of his group where he's from. They don't really. They're not very tolerant about outsiders of Slash. They don't really care about them too much. So they're unlikely to be coming out to help him. So he mm. knows he now needs help Teammates. with what he's doing. Yeah, you need these friends of yours. So, yeah. and considering he just saw a child die, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, he's feeling a bit more open. <laughs> okay. Not fully, because it's only been a couple yeah. of days. But he... Um, Are you okay? Yeah, my. I may have made a deal with a different god. I don't really understand it myself. I wasn't expecting to turn into what the fuck that was. Oh, well, Stephanie, for you too. Okay, quick, quick, mm-hmm. good. <laughs> Any of you know the whispered one? Uh, my belt to me. Right. Would you have asked everybody over that prior to the time that they heard of the whisper? Well, they're, if they're, they're all here apparently, so I'm asking all, okay. like, if any of them know. Uh, if you are proficient in history, you may make a check. Woo! <laughs> Pretty sure I'm not. Oh, yeah. 15. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice surprise. 21. 15. Do I just I'll add the 2 or do I double it? Because I'm pretty sure. You're. What? If you're proficient, you add whatever it says. Yeah, and just so roll and get the bonus. Oh, and just two, okay. Two. Fifteen. Yeah, Fifty. Okay, so everybody's DCs are different because of backgrounds and where you might have found mm. out. Um, being where you're from and your background, not something you would have come across even in your studies. You, what was yours? Fifteen. Fifteen. No, not particularly. However, you... Yes, me. ...has spent a lot of time... And Zed Benarevs. Yes, I have. <laughs> Reading books. Mm, I'll read him. <laughs> I mean, mainly, mainly playing with the ferrets, but yeah, reading. We thought that. Oh, you were studying for your knowledge oh, sure. in dragons. Mm. Um, it's something you'd heard and something you've seen referenced in books. Mm. You don't remember any exact details, mm-hmm. but... A, Thinking about it, there's something in you that mm, that doesn't feel good. Mm. It gives yeah. you bad vibes. It gives me the heebie-jeebies. Okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, he <spoke laughs> Yeah, yeah, that that sounds about right. Okay, that's who you made a deal with. Well, and you you and deals have not been particularly great in the past, so I think we need some <laughs> transparency here. <laughs> He might not have had much of a choice. He might have been backwards. Miles, I don't want to hear it. (laughs) 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 I mean, in fact, I didn't make the deal with that goblin. Uh, He brought me back, this whispered one, whoever he is, brought me back to life. He's obviously got a sick, twisted sense of humour. Shows him the tattoo. Um... He's gonna. I imagine he's gonna want something at some point. I don't know. I. What have you agreed to? Just a reminder, by to the come way. Back to that. Mm. Canonically, remember that you didn't actually ask who he was, and he didn't tell you until after you shook on the deal. No, I did. No, you cho- he, you shook on the deal, and then he told you who he was. Fine. Well, yeah. Well, I asked him, and he said no one in particular. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, what have I agreed? Yeah. I haven't agreed anything. He said he didn't want anything with us yet. I didn't believe him. But I needed to come back. So he just agreed to bring you back for nothing in particular right now? Pretty much. Have you agreed to anything later? Uh, did I? I, I just kind of... He said not yet, he, so said, yes. he, he said he didn't. He said he didn't want worship. What, did he, did he want anything? Because that's... You don't just bring not someone right back to life. Then. Not just yet. Yeah. <laughs> so so yes. he's going to visit you again later. Probably. And you're going to have to agree to whatever he asks for? I imagine it's that or I die again, but... We'll bear that in mind, and mm-hmm. depending on where we are at that point, you might need to take the second option. I... <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Depends <laughs> what he asks for. <laughs> this guy does not... Yeah. Her reaction doesn't sound good. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we can try to help. 
Well, I can try to help. I don't know. Bucket doesn't sound like this. Okay. <laughs> no, he doesn't, does he? Um, Arthur pauses and just looks at Mars. And just. I need to find my wife. She's in the city somewhere. It's how I know the goblin. They knew something about where she's coming in, but they won't tell me shit. So. Do you have a picture? Yeah, what's she look like? A uh, painting? No, but drawing? describe what they look like and tell her name and everything. What's but that? Oh, the, your... Just, my wife, yeah. Oh, I haven't got that info up on my own. My wife. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't either. <laughs> Hold on. We come out of the temple. But I, I, I've Surely. only described the wife. A woman? It's a good start. Elven. <laughs> Blonde. <laughs> Oh. Remember, so almost every other elf. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> now get into the questioning. Let's go. Hold on. I think it's I'm interrogation here. time. <laughs> so she's coming. Is it Chris Christiana? Uh, I think we changed it to Christana. Or whatever. Christ- Christina? Yeah, something like Christana? that. Christina? <laughs> whatever that was. I've been saying Christana to be honest. <laughs> Christana. Okay, Christana. Can I change your last name to uh, from Glory Buff to something else? Yes. Oh, no, you no, you made that. What a shit you name. made that name. Glory Buff. Christana Glory. Well, technically, she, surely it would be Endrin because she did marry me. Mm. I don't know if that's how this works in the um, indie world. <laughs> she decided to keep her own last name. <laughs> Strong, independent woman, you mm. see. That's right. That's what I did. <laughs> Okay, I can't for the life of me find the description of how she looks, but... It was on the WhatsApp that we sent them. Um, do you tell the full history? No. Okay. Well, I think Mars is asking because she's maybe seen people in more influential situations. Maybe she might have seen her around. It's possible. I don't know what kind of crowd she's hanging out in at the moment. Could be hiding in the shadows or she could be up with... As far as I'm... Like, I said the Golden Rose live. Like, they know something about her, how she's coming in that mm-hmm. city, but they won't tell me why, and they don't, apparently don't know how. So she can get in that secret. I think the fact that we're all come from slightly different backgrounds kind of helps, so some of us have seen, like, we talk to different people. Yeah. That's kind of Is she entering and leaving the city secretly? Like, I don't know. Because surely... She's entering and leaving off... the city unofficially. Right. right. So then she's not likely to be on any sort of census or anything like that. Right. She's not a member of the Guardians. Order of Guardians, which means she shouldn't, yeah, without but special dispensation. I've got the description. Where she is. is there a tax man for the city? I've got the description of her. Guilds. <laughs> Guilds, yeah. The trade so, guild. Can we hire a bounty hunter? Here we go. We have a, <laughs> so we have a <laughs> short, wavy blonde hair and red eyes. Um, red eyes. Rough, pocket marked brown skin. About five foot three, athletic build, slim, beautiful face. She has piercing on her left eyebrow. Oh, I know her. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad hit. That's all we can get. So, yeah. I feel like the red eye should be a dead giveaway here. Can yeah. you change your eyes in this world? Do contact lenses exist? <laughs> you can magically change your eye color oh. in this world. Just disguise person. <coughs> with spells. What if she was always disguised person with him? And he's actually her real self now. The reverse. <laughs> no, 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 no. The reverse. Mars doesn't wear makeup, she actually just uses disguise self. Yeah. Every time she performs. <laughs> So, you hear, learn this, um, uh, what's everybody's passive insight? What? Mine as well, or? Ten, no, not yours. <laughs> Fourteen. Okay. Uh, what's your um, passive mm, deception? Sorry. Ten plus your deception. Uh, Ten plus deception? No, 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 no just for okay. you. Uh, only... Mine's eleven. Deception, uh, <laughs> eight. Okay. What's passive insight? It's, um, Ten plus your insight. Down here, that one. Oh, 16. Okay, so you all know there's more to this story. You all know that there is more details, but it is fairly obvious this is painful. I'm not going to push, but you might. <laughs> yeah, okay. I will. No, I'm kidding. Physically <laughs> or verbally? <laughs> that stand his foot until he, until he screams. <laughs> What's more painful, that or this? No, I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not going to push yet. Some other time. Okay. Squeeze. Any other you conversations thing happening? Obviously, <laughs> Alslog gets brought back. Oh yeah, she's been back. Okay. You guys heading back down? Did I experience anything while I was dead for a few hours? 
You were dead for like an hour and five minutes. You didn't. You didn't get the same fun experience that I did. I don't want the same experience you did. <laughs> I don't. I was just hoping I found out whether there's an afterlife or not. Like, <laughs> Is there a god? <laughs> there's definitely a god. There's gods. <laughs> Plural. That's what she asked. She was like, "Hey, how was it?" <laughs> there's a bunch of yeah. There's a bunch of gods. There's nothing yeah, that no, you can recall. Yeah, no, that's being silly. But Arthur is now going through a religious. <laughs> Confusion. <laughs> Crisis. <laughs> yeah. Just, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. So, you guys heading back down? I suppose so. We're all healed up. We're... You're not going to touch any cats this time, right? Not a chance. <laughs> My, mice, however. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. Okay. Hold your hands while we're going down. Why does no one like us? <laughs> they're all busy. Uh, they got but there are pl- there are clerics on hand. Um, okay. What is the? Um... What is the plan? You guys, is you there? So you, we, are you, you going to go back to so the room? Did doing? we decide in that first chamber there was nothing small that could be a baby moon? Yes. Okay. Well, so I want to go to the. four days. Yeah, things have moved, but <laughs> Check I think everything again. I think they seem to have their little sort of dwellings where they kind of stay most of the time. Yeah, if you um, there's some with passive perceptions um, the, there, then you know in that first room it's there's nothing that's changed in there. There's obvious. Yeah, because if they've moved, we might see things that have moved and know. Yeah, um, and you yeah. can either go back to where you were, which is a door on the left as you walk in, mm-hmm. or there's one at the back corner straight ahead. I want to go to the left. Back where you came with from. With the cats, because we know now there's... The cats aren't there, for sure. Um, well, there well, may be others. Are still there? A mimic's... Um, what's the one? Cannibalistic. Would they eat the body of... The two bodies of the cats? Like an age check. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, I would just... Genuine melts because I have no no. Or you can just walk in the room and find out. Well, nature check. No. Considering what just happened, I don't think we're doing that. (laughs) We're doing research. (laughs) So could that be something that I would have asked somebody before we went (laughs) in if they'd have known? Mm, No. No. I don't think I would have known much about mimic. Perhaps. Probably the biggest mimic expert that there is. It's a better. It's a better. He's an expert in a lot of things. Yeah. He lives a long... They, uh, we should have taken his Zebby with us. The Dalkans live a long time, and he is he loves to read. What a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did okay. Okay. So you're heading back into the room where the cats were. Is that what yeah. the plan is? Uh, I want to know if, uh, if the cats are still there. If the corpses are there. You, know, you walk in and we just roll like pause, this. Whatever it might be. <laughs> Can I just have a, a marching order? Just going so I know. back oh. in, Arthur is going in. Dead last. No, wild shaped. <laughs> As uh, into what? A tiger. So he's got dark vision. And do you are you coming behind me or do you want to go first? Uh, I I think maybe, I think <laughs> I'm happy to go first. I well, got a, I got a grudge. You haven't got dark vision though, have you? Yeah, but there are well, sconces. Was it, was right? it, was there was light. Yeah, there was, wasn't there? <coughs> there were sconces, but they're not lit. So I'll come what in. What if we light them? I'll come in like basically alongside. Cast a prestidigitation. Like, like that. How do we find them in the dark? Are you summoning us? Yeah, yeah she's been with. Me. She's been away. There was a torch yeah. dropped on the ground when it all happened. She would have. Okay, she as a cantrip, I can just cast prestidigitation. They're, they're lit now. There we go. Sweet. I'll still get. So there are no mimic bodies in the room when you go in there. Is anything different? There There's a patch where stains. their blood was. Oh, okay. But as in, are there any other like objects that we didn't see before? Perception check. Because now make... that I know, now the bodies uh, aren't there, and there was a patch. It's is a the bonus patch... action to revert back. I'm just kidding. It is a bonus action. Oh well, huh? never mind. Oh, no. Um, what am I doing? Sorry, perception. Day twenty. Are we, are we all rolling? Or... Yeah. Can do you? Yeah, I got day twenty. Fifteen. No, the the, Ten. Room is, the room is as was. Oh, just the, so when you say the body's not there, Fourteen. like it's been eaten or just it's but they're just not there. Okay. But there was a mark on the ground for like from blood. The, the blood. Okay. Drag marks. Can I do? Because no. I'm a tiger. Can I do one based off smell? <laughs> what are you trying to do? Track which just, way? Uh, just okay. Make a perception. A, make a make a perception check. Advantage for smell. Uh, Seventeen plus six. Uh, Twenty three. 
You smell a trace of um, whatever it was towards the archway at the back of the room. So as you facing down the room from where you came in, there is an archway into another area. Okay. Did not notice that before. No. You didn't get a chance. You no. were focused on the cat. <laughs> Okay. Just kind of, so this room looks very different. Is there anything in this room with through that insight check that looks smaller that could be a baby mimic? Like that size. <laughs> okay. well, that's what we're here for. <laughs> yeah. We could cut off Ar- uh, Arthas's hand. <laughs> Just mm. <laughs> what, and have that be the baby mimic. Yeah. Try and fool Zavellero, who knows a lot, quite a lot about mimics, and will know that is not a mimic. <laughs> you might have some use There's for some it. Some dead hand there with some tattoo. <laughs> Just well, some up, godly gonna... cursed tattoo. <laughs> Oh, thanks for the sub, Sol. I didn't realise that. <laughs> <laughs> the gods. Who's here? <laughs> they agree At least that didn't happen hands. during the resurrection spell. Oh, they they like the sound of that idea. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, Question. While I'm watching, do I have a cat on my tiger paw? Yes. <laughs> okay. It's it's it if doesn't try to cut his hand off, it would just move up his yeah. arm. Yeah, just shift it on top as, the, as it's coming down. It just <laughs> jumps. I genuinely already thought of that, and yes. Yeah. <laughs> if he tries to cut off his hand, the cat will move and stay with you. You just lose it, lose a hand. Not worth it. I, no, I, it's a god's dice. That's not going to work. <laughs> no. It's divine. Um, so, yeah, any baby mimic size things? In the room where the cats were? Yeah. Yeah, no. Nothing? Okay. Um, Arthur's just, with a claw, just does an arrow towards the way he's managed and just so makes a really like... obvious actions of... Smell it like he can smell something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just a tiger, just. <laughs> you, you're wondering whether the tiger's just done a line of cocaine in the dungeon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, to be fair. So, I, could, I could cast Speak with Animals and I'm just not gonna. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we know how well that went last time. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, if you communicate um, with him. Not worth it. <laughs> He could, he's expressive enough as it is. Just the, <laughs> the <core. laughs> um, so through this archway, um, did did your press decision would that have let anything through there? Or no, you, have to you need to see the things mm-hmm. to okay. light them. And there's that a cantrip. Yeah. <coughs> you can you light through there for us? If there's any, you can't see any just yet. Okay. Are you going to walk into that room? I. Hmm. Can we throw a rock? I was in like, there can first? we throw a rock into it? Yeah. <laughs> Sure, you throw a rock. You can throw a rock in the room. Yeah. Anything happen? Make a make a <laughs> roll and add your strength. Oh. Let's see how far it goes. Fifteen. Fourteen. So, as you both throw stones through, one tick ticks, and the other one you hear a tick and a ding. It hits something metallic. Mm. You can't see it though. It's like it bounced sideways. Slowly. Yeah, I can't. I can't see anything in there. So. Could you see any sconces you can light in that room if you get we closer? Have dark vision, yeah. yeah. I yeah. do as well. Yeah. Can, yeah, can you, I? Who's, who's going first then? Make sure the the order on the. I think the two of you should sort of be at the front because you can both see and he can okay. protect you. The two people that have died. <laughs> you is, just is this keep going from behind his arm, yeah. Yeah, his leg or something. You can't go through side by side, so, so someone I'll has go. to go first. I'll, I'll I can ride him again. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit tight. <laughs> should be crouched under him? No, You're not that small. No. Is it going to have Tiger Dong? Like, it's gonna <laughs> I didn't you. say the back. That was your idea. No, I think no. I'm just going to be Arthur's behind goes him. First. <laughs> like, close behind. But behind uh, him. As you go to kind of approach into that room, you, as you enter the archway area, um, you Is can see the metal container. <laughs> you have the archway in the neck. <laughs> no. <laughs> that would have been cruel. No. Um, <laughs> you're going to be scared of everything. We don't trust you anymore. Right right right? Yeah. <laughs> We uh, never take your mimic quest again. Yeah, he's read that book. We can't. <laughs> um, you, you look across there. The metal container that's in the very center of the room looks like at some point it was a bathtub, but you can see it's damaged and, and rusted away. Um, and it's there's the some that's other damaged right. furniture. <laughs> it's obviously some kind of clangs in a ritual room. Make a perception check for me, though, please. Uh, this is sight-related, not sniffer. Damn. Me as well. Nope, you're oh, behind okay. a giant a t- cat I'm thing, so you can't yeah, see. You can see. You can see tiger ass. Yeah, dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Okay. You can't communicate with anyone. No. But if I suddenly just stop and 
kind of get ready to pounce. Mm. Well, no one's getting past you. No. <laughs> You're a good shield right now. Fantastic. <laughs> Hold on, I need Basically, to... if this suddenly starts initiative, I need to roll fucking well so they don't get. <laughs> well, all the attacks have to be through you, and then you'll you'll drop your wild shape. Yeah, no. And, and then, then we we'll... just engage and run. Yeah. Yeah, basically, two ins to one shot kill me. They have to do what? It's double my normal health plus that. Yeah. <laughs> so your, your tiger's health. Sixty-two, then... nine, ninety-nine, <laughs> which <laughs> they could do. Knowing his rolling. Mm-hmm. I imagine this session ends with me being crit killed again. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, okay. Pretty nice. Yeah. I hope you understand what that means. Uh, they look out of place. He just. <laughs> now, Tiger Charades. <laughs> 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 Can I look at the wall, like to the side, and like the sconce? You can't around? see. He's in the archway. In the archway. You cannot. In the archway. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You, you're he's currently... like front. I'm guessing front leg, sort of in the. Yeah, that makes sense. He's possible. a large creature. He's not quickly yeah. through. Okay. Um, <laughs> just <laughs> pausing. <laughs> the... I'm sorry, it's not. Cool. <laughs> it's hilarious. So, are you right behind me? I'm. Yeah. It's a book. <laughs> he, just, he, he just. He just. Take a claw. And write it out. In well, I'm, I'm in the archway, aren't oh, I? Um, you can back just up, I suppose. Pauses, just rotate just towards me. Crouches. <laughs> if, you, if you went like prone, laid down, she could see past you, I'm sure. Yeah, so he, he's. Not pa- to everything, not No, he's no. not going to longer lie prone and kind of crouch down to prone. And can he try tap her on the shoulder with his tail? <laughs> <laughs> make a gem. Make a. Uh, like on just a tap acrobatics check for the uh, for the, the skill. tiger. The skill requires to do that. Just to, just to tickle your face. Uh, eleven. So, eleven. You get slapped hard in the face, <laughs> and you take. An arm strike on me. <laughs> it's just a tail. You take two points of bludgeoning damage as this t- massive tail goes swatch you. And you're like, ah! Oh. <laughs> and you just like split the gum a little bit from it. John, he's just, he's get basically in a pouncing position, just pauses it and just doesn't move. Okay. And you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need to speak to him. Okay. Do I have, I think it's just a, a, a let me see. You can either like, cast or you can ring to a let. Yeah, I'm trying to find what level. Do I, no, we'll say is there any kind of movement in the room at all? I'd cast it. Not right this second. Mm-hmm. Cast it. I'm trying to find it. Okay. Can he? <laughs> Listen, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm trying. Okay, God ritual spells. F- I don't, I can't cast it. I have to sit here for tw- ten minutes yeah. to be able to talk to um, him. Wait, don't you have it as a spell prepared spell then? It's a ritual spell. It should be in my. No, spell you can just right? cast. You can either ritual it for, or you can just cast. If it you're a bard, spell. you don't have like a wizard separate ritual book. Oh, okay, You can gotcha. cast it or ritual it. Okay, so they'll just mark a, a level one spell just. Okay. So. Hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> I think your first one would be, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Ow. Um, basically, just don't. I, I, I'm going to back up. Get out of the way. No one come through. And just, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. Wait a second, then starts backing up. Yeah. Um, the room, it doesn't look like it should be here. There's four sconces on the thing. They look completely clean and unspoiled. I think there's four minutes in there. Okay. They were very small. <laughs> they they are just... small. Um, How small? <laughs> <laughs> like, Not like babies. Oh. Um, Smaller than the cats. Like it, it's it's like the cats were you're looking, they're like infants. Sort you're of looking for something the size of like a gold piece. Yeah, we, really these small. things are the size of like a pint mug. I, like I, so, it's like let, let them know. Baby, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back to where I was and the cats were juvenile. See if I can see yeah. anything. Yeah. Okay. Like what we're looking for. So, and so he, uh, yeah. So he's told her that and he goes to go back He's, into where he was again yeah. being very cautious and looking around to see if there is anything else in the room that could be baby mimic size i would tell you guys he, he's pretty sure there are mimics in there um not huge but not baby they're in kind of for them yeah right four of them. Well, well, four on sconces, the walls four sconces it's just it's <sighs> off in there uh, can i can i go back to where i was again kind of ready to looking. pounce and try to see or smell if there's anything else just in the room. You, with your check you got before, there's yeah. 
Nothing I've else. Only seen, I've only seen the, you the smell, the smell from the mimic that have been eaten or whatever. And so we're off at so. the Scots. And you, you saw you the bathtub, you saw the damaged furniture and bits in there. Then to the fall. And you, those things work, stood out. Not, the only other thing you would see is that um, there is a clear like through to another room at the back. He had a good idea. If I could see in there, if I can cast prestidigitation on the sconces, then there are sconces. But if I can't, then they're mimics. Uh, I mean, if that's what you don't want to do, fight on the Because it's only going to ignite something that's ignitable, right? Yeah, it's a candle. But if it's mimic, would it even affect the mimic at all? Because it just would fail, wouldn't it? Well, I don't know. The cat couldn't speak with animals, it just meowed. So I, I think yeah. it probably wouldn't like. Let's would... find out! Um, we could have a fight with four more mimics. <laughs> Please no. <laughs> They're even smaller. How much hit points could they have? How much health could they have? That or, or, or... That or is you lot come in, I can pounce them on. Or do we just leave this room? If there's no baby mimics, there, nothing there, baby I, mimics I say to that there is, again, there's, not, there's another way through on the other side. Another there is also, by the way, yeah. as you look to the right through there, there's a door. I, t- I assume I, it links to the other room that you didn't go in through at the start. I, t- I tell her that as well. So yeah. There's multiple entrances into this room. We might have to go through this one anyway. We might have to go. There was no yeah. other way other than that other room we didn't go into. There was yeah. no other thing. No, no. So you can either go back to the room you haven't been into yet, you know, the start, or... Straight through. Like Fancy bigger moon because there was blood. I think it's worth a shot. It's, it's a cantrip. I can just do it. So I kind of like peek over. Yeah, you can like How just close? climb on the back enough. Yeah. And How? within 30 feet, easy enough. Yeah. You just so one. So works, if she, she climbs onto my back. She doesn't even need to climb on. She just kind just of like perch up okay. slightly. Okay, if she's doing... Okay, if that's what we do. And I just get ready to... I'm preparing to be like... Okay. Get the charge or something. Sure. Just I'll, I'll say up. you're ready to do a pounce. Yeah. Is that like a run and attack? Uh, if the trip tire moves at least 20 feet straight forward to a creature and then hits with a claw attack on the same turn, okay. they must do. Yeah. No, I'll probably fall off of you, but I'd rather that than get bit by question, you're not, it. You don't actually have to climb you're not on it. So so okay. Question though, if it's not a... If it is a mimic, as we believe it might be, what's our source of light once we're in there? If we have to fight, or do we lure them out? Where it well, is we, all, we all have dark It's only you. Right. Oh, right. <laughs> Only me. <laughs> I'll just blindly <laughs> flail around in there then. All right. We'll figure that out with once we realise that they're mimics we got. Alright. On oh, you, buddy. Okay. Up to you, kiddo. Yeah, I'm going to try to light the sconces. Okay, and you're ready. To... I'm ready to... I, it's well, how, 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 how close is the closest one, one to me? The closest one, one, one to you is only about right? 15 foot mm-hmm. away. Okay. Um, so you, it's one at a time. Yeah, just do one. See you start with the nearest one. Mm-hmm. You. How do you do it? Do you like do a click finger kind of go? You wave your hand. What is it? You Are you bewitching it? Hmm. What's like a very Mars thing to do? I feel like you do like you probably like bear in mind if you're blowing you do... out a candle, you blow and it would sort of light. I think. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love it. Yeah. So you do that, yeah. and, you go, and you watch, and it sparks like you'd expect, and then this thing just falls off the wall, <laughs> <laughs> which triggers your. You can do yours. My pounce. You can have advantage on it. Okay. <laughs> just screams like a little mandrake man. <laughs> yeah. I set it on fire. <laughs> you burn a child. Uh, so that'll be 22. Yeah, it hits. Um, so, okay. One. I guess because the presentation doesn't do damage like a one produced flame would do. So it does seven damage and then they have to do a strength saving throw. Or what? Or it gets prone. Okay, prone. no, I don't. Okay, fine. Not prone. fine. Okay, with that, everybody. Got legs. <laughs> oh yeah, starting starting da- combat with damage though. Yeah, everybody roll initiative. Uh, set the camera back up again. Fucking finally. <laughs> Twinsy. Where'd you get? Thirteen. Thirteen. Twinsies. Mm-hmm. Was it based on dex though? So who goes first? Who goes first? Mm-hmm. What's your dex? Yours was probably My plus three. 16, 16 by the time. But do you want, will you oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. We did it the same round as before. Yeah. I assume I still get the same initiative, don't I? My normal initiative. It doesn't change if I'm in wild shape. Um, actually, it would because you'll take on the physical. It doesn't have any. That's when you wild shape, yeah. you keep your mental faculties, but you take on their physical ones. Okay. So in other it's words, when it's I would say you yeah. get to keep your alert, 
So which is your plus five. Yeah. And then add the dex modifier of the tiger. Oh, I think that might even be, that might be even better then. Yeah. I'd say that <laughs> yeah, would be is. fair. Okay. Um, that makes right. it slightly better by one. <laughs> we'll take that. I... Marginal gains. Mm -hmm. So, right. If you move the tiger as far back that way as possibly to get off camera or uh, on camera. That's just on the edge of camera. I'm but he pounced him. He bounced into the room. So I went 15 feet. So 15 so, feet And off probably to the side as well slightly, right? So probably okay. about there-ish. Just... Oh, we need some more. These... Yeah. I don't have... You can lay them flat, right? As the, to be fair, it might be... Because it'd be easier well, for the camera to see. Well, they're, they're, they're not mimic miniatures. No. It's like that we could just but, put black... But to show where they are, down. it's fine. Yeah. Where, are the others still on the walls? Uh, yes, currently. So I imagine... Yeah. Is that still in view? Yeah, that's still in view. And probably about there. Oh, let me... Is that... Oh, hang on, let's bring that one in one. I think it's slightly further forward. Is that reasonable? Yeah, yeah that's good. Okay, sorry about the slight bouncing, everybody. Can I pet that cat that dies? Permanent trust issues of cats. <laughs> <laughs> I want to pet that cat. Can I pet that dog? All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, initiative. Oh, no. Hell yeah, we all get to go first before they go. In the sound of that. <laughs> or reverse or they're, or they're all going first. Okay, anybody over 20? Yep. yep. What did you... 23? 21. Jeez, Tobin. What did you write? A 20. Oh, nice. 20 to 15. Uh, no, we're both 13. Yeah. Who have you? The same you decks. So if you're... She's way in front. And she just did the spell. I don't know if that makes any difference. Who wants to do go first? Or do you want to roll off? We can go up. I got a high movement speed if you, you want to go that. Matt, so I'll go next based on that. Well, well hold on. Is, is she in the archway? doesn't matter. Be a, you can move through. Well, you were wider. Can you move? You're wider because... Yeah, you, you can oh, probably... Yes, yeah. With an ally, probably fine. You're a large creature in a okay. tight doorway. Makes and sense. I still was able to squeeze next to you. So True. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mars. And the babies. <laughs> well, They're not babies. Infants. Infants. Toddlers, from what yeah. we know. Toddler <laughs> Okay. So, top of the round. Just as that's happened, that one's fall down, you see these other sconces, bare teeth, on the walls. Um, they're over. staying on the walls at the moment. Yeah, well, they, until their turn, yeah. Do... Am I able to get my bow out? You, yes, you can. Okay. Um, the where Mars is, yeah, that's essentially the archway. You have to go past her to be able to okay, get inside. Okay, that's fine. Anything. Can I be in front of her, wherever I need to be to be able to shoot? There you go. Good. How far? Do you uh, want me that far forward? Next turn. It is a long bow. Is that all right? Yeah, if you want me full thirty feet, that's, that's like good. twenty. No, that's fine. I don't. I don't want to be too close because then I lose. Okay. That's like this is only. Oh, sorry, okay. Well, I just didn't go in on tables, just keep it easy. Okay. Yeah, she goes after me. Fine. Are you ready? Yes. Ooh. How yes. about 24? Which one? Here's where all the good rolls I was going to go <laughs> for the furthest away one. The furthest away one. Yeah, I just try to lessen our... What did you do on that first one again? Seven, wasn't it? Uh, yes. No, that's not a... This one. Nine. Nine points down. Whew. Five. I <laughs> fucking pierced it. Yes, you did. Is it as it's there hissing on the wall? You get one straight through its small open mouth, and the arrow pierced through and sticks in the wall. Restrained to the wall. <laughs> Anything else? No, no, no. How slow? Probably used uh, up. How much movement do I have? Well, it was back here with you. Ish. Five, ten. 15, so you went to fifteen. Fifteen more feet of movement. I don't know. Because they, they could get here and still have 15 foot, I'd say. Um, I don't know what she'll do, because she's pretty far away. Okay. You can just have a position there behind you, ready? Yeah. I'll keep her near me. Okay. Others. Um, just going to bite. Okay. Roll to hit. Uh, 15. Yes. Uh, 6. 6. 
Mm-hmm. As you crunch down, this thing is squealing on the back. <laughs> Doesn't look good. <laughs> you get a core attack or anything? Um, or just a bite? I don't think I get multiple attacks, no. Just... <coughs> um, yeah, no, it's just the one attack. And again, <laughs> bonus, all I can do is heal, so... All right, Vaka. I can't really see shit. Correct. Do I see? Is there any like I mean from the room that we're just a in little there? bit? Like you like, probably be able to like vaguely. Feet sort of thing. You probably able to vaguely make out these first two. Okay, in that case, I'm going to uh, go uh, five fifteen. <coughs> Would be. Sorry. 20. No, 25, sorry. <coughs> yeah, fuck it. 35. If I can vaguely see it, I'm going to give it a go. Is that the one that um, she, Tofu no, attacked? she attacked this one. Okay, yeah. cool. So that one <coughs> well, then from here, I'm going to just come out straight away, whack it with my quarter stuff, see if I can hit it. That is going to be 15. Hits. Yep. What am I using? It's D4. Uh, D6. D6 for the stick. Yep. Uh, that is seven points of damage. Okay, nice. Bang! And I'm going to just follow up. I think with an unarmed strike for now. Just, okay. Nope, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> it's seven. Small. You seven. tried to stamp on it, but you missed. Yeah, so I guess I dislodged it off the wall. Perhaps. Yeah, it probably, yeah, it's probably on the deck now. That's fine. Yeah. I just tried to stomp it, but couldn't see well enough. Okay, anything I'm else? Uh, I've only got five more foot movement. I'm... I might just move cl- like beside it here to give anyone okay. a slightly clearer shot if I need the All range right. attack. Is there a way we can hook the... Never mind, not worry about it. Um, oh, is it? Because of this? Yeah, yeah, I was just trying to see if it was... Sorry about the bouncing. Oopsie. Nearly. Yep. Sorry, it was empty. Um, okay, Mars! You're conscious. Yay! <laughs> what would you like to do? Sorry, I was waiting for it to stop shaking. It's, um, it'll take a while. I want to try using my magic... My wand and magic missiles. Do it! Yes! It's so cool and fun. How, d- How many charges? It has seven. It has it? seven. Um, advice, you want my advice? That's how you six. What? <laughs> that seems like a bit of an attack. overkill for the ba- for these children. There's, there's four of them. You take <laughs> three of them twice. It's up to you. Do what you think you yeah, want to do. Yeah, you do what you want to do, but... One, one, okay, so sure that that the one in front of him looks rough. Really okay. rough. Um, this one and this one are both looking pretty beat up. I'm gonna attack. I'm gonna shoot at these two, and maybe do four charges. Two each. Yeah. The, so the ones well, that's only and... so that's two charges. will give you four bolts. Two charges. Give Level you four one bolts. gives you the normal magic spell, which is mm-hmm. three slots. And then uh, one, so two charges yeah. will give you four bolts. Oh, to fire two at each one. I don't, sorry, I I, I so, fucked up. Oopsie. What did you do? I accidentally pressed that I, you did a charge on it. I'll just keep track that I didn't actually do that. Wait, no, I did. I'm right, because it was seven charges, so I should be at five now, yeah? Yes. Cool. Okay. So, roll... roll your hit, um, your roll. You don't roll a hit. You, the, okay. Magic missile it's, never misses. Um, so, you roll a d4 for each one. So, roll 2d4, plus, two more and you plus one each Part bolt. D4. So, roll 2d4 plus two for your attack on this one first. Two plus two, four. <laughs> <laughs> Again for the other one. Okay. Three, five. 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 I did something. You, and then four streaks of energy kind of swamp through collectively in the middle and then cross each other's paths and go cool. into the ones on the side and they both collapse off the wall. You singe through the the, uh, the arrow Uh-oh. on the strike. You were never recovering it from the wall. <laughs> It's solid rock. The oh, arrow yeah. fucked. <laughs> As a bonus action, I'm gonna give Bardic Inspiration to um, to, the, to, the, to the, tiger. Tiger. the tiger. How do you inspire? <laughs> no, you are currently able to talk Katie, to me. You start singing Katy Perry. <laughs> <laughs> what? You just got some water. Oh. You? <laughs> no, surely it's a bit of. Oh, oh, my the tiger. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. There you go. <laughs> Playing I the Tiger for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you have... Um, it's a D6. Yeah, you get to roll D6 to add into things. Um, 
You, you can use it after you've rolled the d20, but before I tell you whether it's successful or not. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. that's, how the, that's how the inspiration works. Um, how long is that for? Ten minutes. Okay. So it's almost like I've played a lot of Bard. Um, <laughs> okay. Oh, it's their turn, finally. Uh, we we actually find it. Very different we actually your got to no. go before. <laughs> yeah, it's the reverse. It's the once. reverse of the last bit of combat. Okay. Oh boy. Think I'm in danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. Yeah, but the thing is, because just... they were last, none of them get to do the sneak attack. Yeah. 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 They don't get the. Yeah. All extras. right. So. <laughs> Death by toddlers. Uh, <laughs> what's your AC? I'm guessing it's higher than ten. Uh, it is. A twenty-one hit. Yeah, that is. <laughs> oh, see, it's less. It's less damage. Um. Uh, three cent. Uh, you take nine points of damage from the bite. Okay. And then, as you're looking on the lit. Uh, um. Oh no, so it's missed one anyway. So yeah, just that. Mm -hmm. Um. The second one that's there. It's gonna bite you first this time. 17? Yeah. Okay. Teeny tiny. Yeah. It goes for your foot. <laughs> oh, uh, 13. Okay. Points of damage. Right, okay. And then the tiniest little tentacle comes out the side and it's going to try and jump up and <laughs> slap your tiger face. With a 19. Yeah, it hits. Yay. It's kind of cute. Hit by a <laughs> strand of spaghetti. It's kind of cute. Tiny's like, what the fuck? Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on, dice. Oh, max damage, nine. Okay. I'm still in wild shape. <laughs> yeah, okay. And the other two, um, I'll do both of their bites attacks first and then both of the other ones for you. So two bites attacks. Oh my God, I'm going to get to use my bonus action. One is a seven. <laughs> nope. 22. Yeah. So you take... Uh, and if your bonus action doesn't uh, work, 14 down. points of... Yep, piercing slash acid. So is that four? And then two and then the again the tiny little exactly right the tiny right. little tentacles come out and they're gonna slap you across your shins. Ouch. Yeah, uh, one of them's nine. Nope. The other one. Okay, so it's not two. Fumble. It fumble. It's not two to damage. Someone roll D one hundred for me, would you? I think I should get to do that one as it's attacking me. That is sixty five. Your target may re-roll all ones and twos on a damage roll for his next successful melee attack on you. So this one, yeah. If you roll a one or a two on your damage roll, you get to re-roll it. Yeah. And it says I've all, previous... so it doesn't say the first. It says all. So every single all one. Three, if you keep three rolling attacks. ones, you keep getting to roll. Yes. Or a two. Nice. No, it's just the next melee attack. So the next one that hits. Right. Okay. It's the next one that hits. So you get to use it. Um, Okay, cool. So uh, that's all their turn. We'll see the mimics, and we're back to the top of the round. Tova, uh, what do you want to do? The one that you shot is looking pretty bad. Um, that's this one here. Am I allowed to put my bow away, or is that too much of a boob? I'd say you'd only be able to get one of your daggers out afterwards. That's fine. I can still stab with one. You're going to run at it? Yeah. Is that 510? Yep, fine. No. Nine. I'm assuming it does not hit it. Correct. Okay. Well, <laughs> Ocelot's going to go for it. With the same one? Yeah. Movement. What's his movement? <coughs> I have no idea. I'm assuming it's the same as me. Yeah, yeah. He'll, he'll be fine. Uh, There's 20 movement there. What did he get? 16. Yeah, that hits. Fantastic. Uh, eight piercing. With a look of anger and ferocity that none of the rest of you have seen before. <laughs> Shake, rags it. <laughs> it's dead. Yeah, yeah. It's dead. It's uh, not a good experience in the mix. <laughs> None of us have. No. She's just a baby. Right, just cheering her on. <laughs> Arthur, you're up. Uh, one of them is looking decidedly on death's door. Yeah, the one that is looking not great. I'm gonna. Oh, could again, you get your bite. frenzy, whatever thing he is, isn't it? If you can one. No, that's hyena. No? Tiger, tiger doesn't. But this is the only one that has 
uh, dark vision so I can ah fair oh yeah 18 yeah. yeah 18 plus things will hit um not that dice Nine. Yeah, so is this a, a claw attack, is it, or bite. A, a bite? Okay, is this one? You go to bite it, and you overdo it a little bit, and you just crunch, and it kind of falls apart in your mouth. It tastes disgusting. And you can understand it, so right now I can imagine all you're hearing is, a, oh, 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 God. Oh, God. Like, on, the, on the other minute. Because <coughs> nobody you would hear strange growling or hocking from a cat you're like what's that you hear the human oh just, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> just revolting <laughs> he's just kind of licking his head. there's like oh, a small never, giggle coming from my you've never heard a tiger <laughs> gag before yeah. <laughs> it's like the okay. sound mechanics before it's about to vomit um, on the then, carpet yeah. and then bonus <laughs> action um yeah I'm gonna what is it again um Definitely. I can expend a spell slot to gain 1d8 per level, so I'm going to do a level 2 spell slot to gain 2d8 back. Okay. <laughs> Four. Any plus, any plus or just that? You could uh, add, add d6 to it if you wanted. No, no that's only no, a no. d20 roll. Uh, yeah. um, I don't... I think it's just... Yeah. Um, just a straight 1d8 whatever. per... per okay. <laughs> fantastic. Gain your four hit points back. <laughs> yeah. I need to actually take that. Yeah, that, and then that's me. Okay, uh, Baka. Um, right, I'm going to deal with this one in front of me. So, of course, quarter no stuff. Oh, shit, I'm trying to hear uh, Is an 11? Nope. Nope. Then we're going to go... Burn yeah, Flurry of Blows, why not? Because then I get the extra attacks. Uh, 21 hits. Uh, D4 plus 3 is a, a 4. Wait, what did you roll on D4? Uh, one plus three. Okay, four. re-roll it, remember? It's a one. Oh, shit. Sure, re-roll yeah. ones and twos. I thought it was on the actual roll itself. No, no. Uh, four. Seven, then. <laughs> seven points seven. of damage onto uh, that one. Make, yeah. Okay. Is that enough, or do I need... Nope. Okay, then I'm going it's to... not good. Second right. flurry of blows. Uh, Fifteen. Hits. Uh, don't worry. No. Nope. modifiers are now. <laughs> as you... It's like the first one, you get your foot, you kick it, and you, like, chip it up in the air, and as it's up in the air... You punch yeah. it, into and then the it into the wall splatters like you got mimic <laughs> smear all across it, and slowly the sticky carcass is sliding <laughs> down the wall. Okay, you know, the comedy down the glass. Mars, your turn. What do you mean? There's one left. Okay. Hiding behind the. Uh, the just the giant tiger, you're right. Yeah. Um. Magic missile. It. It's been damaged already. Get can I see it? Get well, you yeah, yeah, you can see it. Okay. You can probably see it like beneath his leg or something. Yeah, I'm going to magic missile it then again. So you get to do three shots with one charge. <laughs> All of it into it, go for it. Yeah. Just okay, really so 3d4 three three. and plus three, because you're doing three of them. Do you want a third? You got one. You got one. All the way. Four, three, they two. Are not... What? Nine. Twelve. Plus, Twelve total. Yeah. So. Twelve. How would you like to do this? <laughs> how, I don't know how to make using a wand spell be cool. It could be like fireworks, it hits it. <laughs> Explodes into yeah, a green, spell. green mist. <laughs> it could be like a green mist, <laughs> green light. However you want to put your flare on it. Yeah. I think... Can I use a free action? Yeah, I want it to make, look like, I want it to make you look like fireworks. Yeah, no, that's fine. You can yeah. absolutely do that. Yeah. Uh, you've used it once before and you've, you've gotten a bit used to it. So this time you're like, you kind of try and channel more of yourself through it. And as it comes out, one fires off a red streak, the second one a green streak, the third one a blue streak. And they whistled as they curve around you in tiger form twice, swirl up and come and strike down and you get beautiful sparks and multicolor sparks flying everywhere as it is down. From that explosion. And that is the end of combat. Yay. That was much easier than the last one. <laughs> as opposed to children. <laughs> Fighting children is so much easier. <laughs> Who would have thought beating up a child would be so simple? <laughs>
things to be taken out of context and clipped. <laughs> That's going to be brilliant. That's going to get clipped. You're going to go through my VOD later. I'm yeah. Just get this. <laughs> Clip that. I'm going to rob my children my... in his free time. Now, children, this is the kind of man you want to avoid in the street. <laughs> hey. On a school trip. Uh, <laughs> next time Jordan's covering a, a, P- a personal social health education lesson, watch out for strangers like this. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't die. No. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> well, if trends continue this way, we're fighting smaller and smaller mimics. So, yeah. you know. We're just going to be kicking literal kids soon. Kid yeah, <laughs> it's going to be a baby next. Definitely not a mother to go with her. <laughs> Surely not. Surely not. Mm. Rob wouldn't do that to us, right? <laughs> <laughs> At this point... Do you doubt there's nothing I wouldn't do? Oh, no, of course You've not. You've played with me long enough, Jordan. <laughs> Come on now. Oh, man. I framed the letter. Leave me be. <laughs> okay. So, as you're set in the room, you can see it's a ritual room. Um, the <coughs> the wall that you were on when you were fighting um, uh, Vaka, uh, that's... Can you see p- anymore? Can you see it all? I can't see much further than where I'm at. This is about the... There are some, the, like... Some real sculptures? No, just where the, the tables and, and stuff have rotted is basically rubble that goes along the edge of that wall. Right. Um, but there's nothing you can see of interest. Let's say there is a. Can we? Uh, can I take a, like a table leg and light it or something somehow? Is there something I can light with? Damp. Oh, okay. So you have rot- torches. Oh yeah, I like torches. <laughs> I forget this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like a tinderbox and torch, yeah. After, like after, yeah, of course I do. He sits That's there, to keeps trying to light a damp, rotten table. and goes, "Oh, I've got a torch first time. I've, I've, <laughs> I've got a backpack." I, yeah, I'll light the torch, please, so I can see things. You, That'd be great. You, you do, you do. Um, yeah, the room is fairly unremarkable. Aside from that, there's a way. There's like a passageway at the back that leads through into another room um, or there's the door into the room that you didn't go in near the start is there any more so in the last room we were in with the uh, slightly older mimics there yeah. was yeah. there was um, information on how clearly they were like worshipping no was that, that was the main room the that was the entrance room. room the entrance room you had the worship info yeah the room with the cats just had the cats and some junk in and there's no like symbols or things written on the wall or anything like that and there's nothing no. in here and right? this room you appear to because it's got the old bathtub in it appeared to be some kind of cleansing room okay because the bathtub set up in the center as it was would be you know it's not a bathroom it's mm. for some kind of ritual you see there's there's a door straight over a, a yeah. closed door or like open straight across it's not a door it's just a it's a way through Okay, and then so to the, the right, right is also that's a, a door. door. That's a door closed. Okay, I don't trust it. <laughs> and the one to the right, we assume, is also to get to where we could have gone, where the yeah. blood, blood trail went through. No, no, the, the, blood, first, the, blo- the blood, the the scent trail led to the room. No, because when we were in the first <coughs> entrance, oh before, yeah, the blood, blood was in that one. Was yeah, in yeah. there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. That's the room with the blood trail you didn't want to go into. Still don't really want to, to be honest. Fair enough. Um, make a. Nah, nah, nah. So you guys, you got you've got light now. I've got a torch. Yeah. Everybody, as you're kind of examining around, make perception checks. <laughs> oh, Mars! <laughs> oh, Mars! How long do I have this What's for? What's the door? You've still uh, got that. Yeah. How long if you want to? <clears throat> Okay. Yeah. It's like you can 10 minutes. Use it. I mean, no, I don't need it. I was just wondering how long do I have it for? Okay. Uh, 10 minutes. Okay, well, I don't need it for this, but. Okay. Wish I could. 14. 14? Uh, 24. Eight. 9. Wow, it was a high DC, but you, 24. you. You notice by the doorway, there's two. What look like to be rocks playing with each other. Like, this, you see them, like. Play fight with it. each other. This is it. This is uh, it. Just give her kind of a growl, not loud enough. She can speak to you. Oh, oh yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, over there, two, I think, babies. Oh shit! Who has the boxes? Now it's pointed out. You can see them, and they're 
uh, little pebbles. They're like, yeah, they're little stones. And they're just Cute. like, you see little legs sprouting out of them and they're sort of in at each other, playing with each other. Who, who's got the boxes? Don't recall. Yeah. Check my I think you might have kept I, them. What do I have? You're the uh, responsible adult. Let's hope it's yeah. not the druid. <laughs> yeah. Because you I, can't take them out of a wild shape. I don't think no. I do. I think you might have them from... I don't have anything was, in my inventory, but I, I don't take them. I don't think we actually put them in our inventory as the who have yeah. them. Yeah. But Can we retroactively say someone, one, one of you two has it then? I'm, I would assume that one of you two would yeah. have it. Yeah, yeah sure. I'll, I'll, you know, I, I, like, can, I count as a large... They're small, thing, the, so. and they are small little status, but essentially status, magical status cubes. How do are we? Have we taught how they work. You take the lid, you put it inside, and put the lid on. That so we actually have to handle the thing. Yeah. Okay. Old and drop is like a like a little mouse with a sliding door or something like that. that they no, no. Go into. We could take a stick and like golf it in. Just boop. <laughs> I got my cord stuff. I can just shoot, 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 shoot. Just grab it. It's tiny. Consider it. Yeah. Can, yeah. I don't want to touch it. But they're really close <laughs> to that door, right? Yeah. Not the entrance. Not the entrance. No, across they, the door on the right. They're not. No, no, they're not on the right. They're at the one opposite, which hasn't got a door. Hasn't got a door. Okay, so that I feel safer about. Okay. I, I strangely don't. It's not an archway. I think it's just a space. Yeah, like a like a corridor or something. Okay. There by the door, I feel slightly more. Because you can't see what's in it. Because I think the door's a mimic. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I don't like that nightmare <laughs> feel. <laughs> My concern is if I move closer with the light, they're going to uh, scamper back mm. down that corridor. Okay. I'm going to voice that to you guys. Is there a way we can get them closer to us without we running away? We could send Alslog. Yeah, to wrangle them. Yeah. Yeah. Can like, I herd them? Yeah. Because if she touches them, she's still fine, right? She, she just disappears. And if something bigger comes yeah, if she, and she dies, that's a bit If she goes but... zero hit points, she disappears. <laughs> not... But she doesn't die, die. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Can we I send can, her to sort of yeah. get behind them and, and I can move them towards us. the other way so they can't, if they run towards the other, I'm not going near the, the other, door. just the, the, yeah, the other Locking exit, where, yeah, just to try, if they run towards me, they'll see <coughs> it and her the other way, but yeah. not going close. But they're in, so Aslog's trying to, going to try and what, speed past them? Like jump over them or something? Well, she fly, no? No, not yet. Can I throw her? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> but she can jump over them. Yeah. They're tiny. She can just like yeah, yeah. run past them if she can. She used to go round about like whoop. But they no, they're in a doorway. They they're in so a she, she jump. I think. She back okay. on like a cat into the box. Just like, so <laughs> yeah, they're so <laughs> they're here. Yeah. And it's wall, it's wall wall. So she would have to go past them. Jump. I think a jump. And then try and jump over them. bit like a cat trying to run yeah, past yeah, prey yeah. to cut them off. Yeah. yeah. And, like and you're on this side. You're gonna go this side by the okay. other door. I think. And then you are. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, I know we haven't got the viewers there, but. Andrea, she's just asked, does everybody have mimic trauma now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Yeah. just a little bit. We need group therapy. It's trauma bonding. (laughs) This is great. Was there a therapist anywhere nearby now? <laughs> can we one. see into the next to. room with dark vision and make sure your parents footing the bill? If you yeah. put yourself in a certain line, you can. Are you walking? You're pretty much in line with them. I'm in fucking line. Are you moving quietly to get a better position? Maybe. Make a stealth check, please. I don't want to get too You're just going to sort of though. move behind us. No, like, but any like movement here. now, I want stealth checks, please. 16. Okay. So you move quietly. Yeah. yeah, as you look into that room and look out, you can see and make out what looks like some kind of raised um, raised platform with a plinth with bowl in the middle. It's not the bowl, it's a plinth that's a mimic. Mm. <laughs> Everything's mimic now. <laughs> Too much wrong. <laughs> not the floor's lava, the floor's a mimic. Yeah. <laughs> you go to a tavern. Here's your beer. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Any black cat, he's going to be screaming and running away from that. Immediate just booting. <laughs> Kiwi's not getting that no. much in the <laughs> So, yeah, you see. Um, make a history check. 13. Kind of. Why well, you wouldn't know the exact. It, it some looks like you'd imagine this kind of place, this level of worship of a of a creature. That this might be some kind of sacrificial room. Oh, good. That's what it looks like. They, they this setup mm. is something where maybe it's blood, or oh. maybe there was water in a bowl and they were cleansing hands mm. in a special way or something. You don't know yeah, for yeah. sure. If you saw more, you might be able to figure it out. But yeah, they, it's. Are there not... any large rocks I can see? No. More rocks. No. Okay. Just the 
just the little there. Little guys, little stones. Yeah. All right, well, fuck it, let's go. <laughs> Larger than a cat. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you sending out slug to try and yeah, get past? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Roll an acrobatics check for Oslog, please. <laughs> and he just squashes them both. <laughs> Eight. Okay. They see Oslog come in and they react and they scarper back into the room. Oh, up on the Aussie thing and to like behind the the area that you mm. can see. Like you just saw them run past the bowl. And then drop over the step at the back. Mm. Well, that didn't work. Sorry. It's okay. You did great, Oslo. <laughs> <laughs> How else were we gonna? It's not a it? massive area, by the way. It's like a uh, the 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 statue areas in in four squares with the pin in the center of it, like that. So they've got like they they fled yeah. back there, yeah. They've They're gone. back. Okay. Can we still kind of see them or no? Nope. At all? You haven't stepped in. Nobody stepped inside the room yet. We're scared. <laughs> okay. Um, Too traumatized. I'll go forward if someone can quickly maybe heal me a little bit. I don't know. You're. You're not. They're not real hit points. Yeah, I know. But still, <laughs> it's still a bonus thing, and I haven't got loads left as a tiger. Can you fit through that corridor? Oh yeah. Can can I get with the size you are? You said it was only like one. Five, no, you can fit wide. through it, but he can, it's a difficulty. Okay. The tiger's, you know, it's not easy, but you yeah. can squeeze through. Can I, I could turn invisible, but however, that doesn't work for them. No. So, is anybody... So, we're going to just say, now let's move everybody back. Say, I'm going to okay. put, as a marker for me, this is the doorway. Okay. All right. All right. For, <laughs> as you look into this room, this is where the plinth is. Okay? <laughs> the thing's disappeared over here. Behind the plinth? Yeah. Can we see it? Well, could you have seen anything behind the plinth? Or is it no, a wall? you can't. Like well, a... no, it's a drop. Oh, there's a wall at the back of the room. Yeah, it's a big square room. So the plinth is on a little raised platform. There's yeah. a drop behind it. And then there's the wall. There's a well, there's a wall. distance to the wall. Okay. And you haven't seen them run. But we don't know. There could be a staircase on behind that. It could be anything. Um, sort of far enough back you can make out the floor like it's you know line of sight thing right but you haven't seen the uh, the rocks move anywhere yeah you just know they're hiding possibly yeah oh well I guess we're going in does the room well from what um, Toby could tell does the room seem wider once you're in there or how, how wide did it look could I see the right or the left of the walls no just the back wall. At the back wall. Are, are you stepping into the room? No. Then no, you can't okay, see the left well, and right wall. I'm asking you. As you go to the back, you can. Yeah, I think uh, you see the left hand wall of it. Um, in fact, and you can make out a bit. Which, while it's difficult, you think there's a way through to the left okay. as you look through. We're all so nervous. Does anyone, are we sending the dragon in first again? Hey. Or? You, you don't know what that means. That's true. <laughs> it's a private conversation between you two. <laughs> it's not so much private, I just, you can't understand yeah. me. You can hear <laughs> my end of things. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> just follow over, just to have a it, little time. I could cast yeah. knock on the mysterious door. See what's let's, in there. Let's just deal with one room at a time. <laughs> We found some babies. I think we need to get them and get out. Get them and get out. Um, if we don't have to deal with that other room, we don't have to deal with it. I said we. I reckon we either send the dragon in, or I'll go in first. We could throw a rock in there again. I might think it's another one to play with. <laughs> yes, it might do. I'm gonna throw a rock. Oh, fair. <laughs> strength uh, roll plus your strength, please. I'm so strong. <laughs> <laughs> from now on every dungeon just rock <laughs> is it a 20 yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 7 <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't, go doesn't, doesn't make the door no. <laughs> it bounces off the side Mars is good at everything Accuracy. except for strength yeah you don't say um. that was my idea your turn Oh, but we're, you can't talk to me about 
Just <laughs> rolls his eyes at the tiger. <laughs> Uh, do the others want to... Are we going in then, or...? Well, that's where the babies are. That's where the babies are. You don't know, that, you don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> are there sconces like... on the walls? In that room? Yeah. Yes, there is burning sconces in that room. Oh, so I, even I can see that Yes. Room. Okay. Do they look... What, what do they oh, look so like? Oh, so they're already lit? Yes. With the, um, how, how long have... Magical light. Okay. Oh, you would... You're not stupid. <laughs> well, yeah. I didn't With know. The, um, where the mimics were in the room we're currently in, with the sconces on the walls... Was there still actual like, fixtures to the walls and they were just the torches? No, they were just there. So I they, could put my torch hold... into a no, into no, no. holder. Uh, the holders there wasn't a holder, no. The holders had long since okay. rusted away from okay. that room. There was extra moisture in that room because of the, the, because of the bathroom, bathing yeah, and stuff. Sure. So things rusted okay. a lot more. I think, though, before going in, can I just like put my torch into, like, into the bathtub? If that's metallic, it might make a bit of a glow so that when we come back, maybe it's a bit Not too much, but you'll be able to see in that room, okay? It's just not a particularly big room. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. I don't well, need it to, like, if it's a mimic or not. light every... Mm. The bathtub <laughs> is not a mimic. I, I, I think I was safe <laughs> in that one. <laughs> <laughs> I love the regret on your face for a moment there. We had just like, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I know, I, I feel quite safe for that one, because if it had been, it probably would have attacked us with sure. the four, but... These are especially trained They are special mimics. mimics we have right. learned this. <laughs> Um, but the bath looked a bit damaged, don't well, I suppose the cats looked a bit Agreed. rugged. Mm-hmm. But the, the sconces look clean, so... I, I say, send the dragon in, then I'll follow after. Can we send Auslog in? Just to... Just to walk it in, see what happens if she goes into the room. I'll ask. <laughs> Are you going to like get her to try and flush out the mimics? What's the plan with the Auslog? Cause I just want her to go in and make sure she doesn't, we're not going to die as soon as we get in. Like, it's not okay. going to have a ceiling, there's no traps, so you can walk yeah. in and not immediately get ambushed. Okay. So, Auslog. And as you're going in, I'm going forward preparing to go in, but not going in just yet. I have to do this shit yeah. for you. She, she makes it there and Thank she's you, <laughs> just outside of the edge, and you see her. She's focused eyes on something. You know, like a, yeah, yeah, yeah. when your dad's walking the dogs and they see a rabbit, it's like, it's like that. You notice that she spotted something. Yeah. What are you going to do? Well, unfortunately, I can't talk to her, can I? She can. It's like having a pet. She, you can. She understands your instructions. You have a. Yeah. Your bond is more than yeah, yeah, just yeah. you know. So there is there is an understanding there. Mm. You can't understand her. Oh, she's staring. Yeah. Is that's like staring at the where they went to or that? Yes, she, but okay. she's not immediately rushing back. No, she's not rushing back. She's staring at them like she's. She's staring at the plinth or behind. Past it. Past it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Where you saw the pebbles run. Okay. She doesn't have to go get them. We just want no, to make no, sure no. they're safe. Okay. All right, well, I, guess, I guess I'm going in too. That's up to you. <sighs> what do you want to ask, Slug? I'm just going to keep her there. Okay, so she's just there uh, looking. She's a guard dog. I'm going to slowly follow and keep a very close eye on this plinth and just kind of come around. Well, so this is yeah, the plinth. Oh, so doorway. That's so the come doorway. through a long kind of side next to her to see what she can see. But oh. trying to be sneaky as I go. Sneak attack. <laughs> Sneak attack. Kind of like with the, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just getting a placeholder. That's the plinth then. Uh, right? No? I don't think so. No, no, no. I'm just changing the camera. For the purposes of the thing. Oh, okay. So, okay. That's, this is the plinth, okay? Yeah. And the step, as partway step down, fully step down, the, the little guys ran and oh, on they're that. like ran the back of there. What's the plinth looking like? Looks like a plain this um like carved marble and stone work and, and a he... really clean bowl, very nice. Like it's been well looked over. You can see it's worn from a lot of use, right? Okay. Um even the slabs and stuff around it, you can see um you know where old old things start to get the, the yeah. curves in them from Roots, many, yeah. many footsteps? Yeah. Um can I try have just see if I can smell anything other than anything else in the room? Roll a Perception check. Don't forget uh, your, your um, advantage, advantage dice yeah. as well. As well. I get advantage. And the dice have continued to add something to it. I'm, yep, I'm going to. So I got 10, uh, 10 to 16. Ooh, 21. Okay. So yeah, but you... Yeah. It's, it's impossible to distinguish those two that you've seen running around with anything else that might be in here or, or nothing at all. You know there's something... You can smell the smell of a mimic. 
But that's not no, surprising. Not necessarily. It could be them. Because you've seen two mimics okay. running through this room. Okay. <sighs> There's not a differentiating smell from them. We just sneak up. <laughs> <laughs> just sneak up behind him and just like whoop, in a box. Um, well, I mean, I've got the boxes, right? Or well, one of us does. I don't remember. My thought process is: Avshlog goes one way, I go the other. They're going to have to come back this way. Come back that way, where you guys are at the doorway. I assume. Have you guys followed up? Or I'll be sort of at the doorway with the boxes. Yeah. Well, I mean, do you want to have a box each? Might make it a little easier. Yeah, we could try. Yeah. Because uh, if we're going to grab one, yeah. I've had the box I basically, up. I kind of whisper back to you, like, if we get Avshlog to go to the right, I'll go to the left. We can try. I don't know if it, I can't tell if there's a big mimic in it. If, yeah. if mummy's in here, <laughs> would Asla be willing to work with um, with Arthas to kind of push them back into the room we're yeah. in? Uh, just out of self-preservation, I, I don't really like doing it, but maybe she goes slightly first. <laughs> I'm not going to ask her that. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear that half of that conversation. <laughs> Aslog is being very patient with us right now. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to come back again. <laughs> it's the babies. It's not. It's whether there's a mother here too. Mm. All this whispering. Don't know to we I'm arguing with the tiger. <laughs> <laughs> a tiger and a tiefling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck it. Are we doing that then? So what's the plan? From what I understand, they're going Alpha to go kind of like like this, yes. and Behind. maybe run this the way. There's nothing. Is it, there's nothing else kind of like on the walls around us at all. No, there's a, there's a doorway through this way, but fucking doorway. <laughs> it's it's a, an end doorway. There's nothing there. It's just a way through. Okay. There are, at a glance, there are things in there. Rocky Not, things. sorry. Rocky. Things. Not rocky things. Can we swap? <laughs> just shiny at, things. Just look at the dragon. Just be like, hmm? swap sides. <laughs> <laughs> so you. Guys, are you like okay. to about there? I guess he's gonna pounce or something around that side, right? To scar- kind of well, it's them. not, it's not, like gonna be jump, 20, it's not 20 pounce, feet, but, is it? But, no, but, I'm, I mean, that you're not in a combat situation, but I guess, yeah, we're going to gum from well, you this also want to, to kind of block that door a little bit, I guess, yeah, to okay. Tr- so, they're not go that so way. okay, so you're there both there, so with the view of staring them at up the moment, they're like towards the boxes, yeah, they, yeah, they the boxes. jump up the other side and they, they, they're hiding behind the plinth right now, and because they're very focused. On the big cat okay. and the can, small dragon. Seizing on that, can I try and sneak yeah, closer? Uh, box ready, open and ready. Um, and then the idea of just sort of, as quickly as I can, grabbing and stuffing um, into the box. So you're going to try and sneak up to them and box them, basically? While yes. they're distracted. While they're distracted. Too. Are you going to try and do yeah. the same? Okay, so we're, we're both going to do the same. Quick and Mars will just cover the door. Yeah, I'm, I'm back Mars here. Mars cover the door to make sure they're not going to escape. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, God. Um, 19. Okay. You both are creeping up stealthily. Who's going first? I'll probably go first. I think I was in front anyway, so you'll okay. sort of Just behind. bring up the rear. But then we then we go sort of side yeah. by side, and then ready, grab, go, in. Okay. <clears throat> really getting the drop on them. Yeah. Surprise attack for us. <laughs> Hooray. As you, I'm just going to backfire. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see. As you go there, you're ready to scoop this. your one up in the box. You step up. It's a fucking mimic. And all of a sudden, the plinth changes and it's a massive tongue. And teeth come up the sides of the circle on the ground underneath you. But we're not on it. No, but you're right next to it trying to scoop up the babies. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And (laughs) I'm being sneaky. Yes. You they have, still try to reach him? They have blind sight. They have a huge perception. They've got the, they're very good at seeing things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry. Can you try to do some dexterity and kind of just like... Um, just however... Just quick. You... It's fine. It's fine. I'm sure it'd be fine. For you, maybe! <laughs> As this one... I'm guessing I'm not going to use my stone endurance reaction. Yeah, you can use like, your reaction okay, to I might, this. I might need to. I think you're going to have to. Uh, I'll see what the damage is. Okay, like, so, well, first of all, it's, a, it's an advantage hit roll to hit. Do I not even get to get my little... A crit again? What? You haven't. 
You are never allowed to use mimics again. It's this die again, the one that crit you. How much health do you have? Not enough to tank this. I but it was me he was looking at. <laughs> Your parents who, who better come through with the money me first. Again. Yeah, it's going for you. Did I manage to get the mimic into the box at all, the baby? Uh, no. Oh, come on. Oh, uh, hold on, let's just have a think. Okay. <laughs> uh, I need... You don't have any kind of monkey thing to kind of dodge? I feel like it's a monk thing. I, I can reduce damage dealt by 1d12 plus 2, 1 plus short rest. That's that bad, might be enough just to even save your life. <laughs> Mate, how much health do you have? With the amount of dice he has, probably not enough. Oh, I need one more. Oh god, this is... Shall I just see how much the I'm going to take off, take off the top were they, were they not Roll, yeah, roll your thing. What's your max HP? I'm not at max HP. No, what is your max HP? Uh, 31 max. Okay. What are you at? 17. Oh wow, there's some ones here. <gasps> um, and I reduced damage by seven, I'm so by the way. <laughs> Two, four. But if it crit, it's doing max anyway, isn't it? Yeah, at max plus what I roll, and if I roll shit. What, what, how many dice are you rolling? Seven. The seven D6. Yeah. You may not be completely dead. Maybe. Um, 76 is 42 damage plus all this yeah but hold on I need to do some math here your max HP is 31 take away 7 though because I'm my take away 7 take away my 1d12 plus 2 35 is everyone going to die this game is how this is going <laughs> yeah, you are. It's like fifty-seven points of damage in total. So you are unconscious, but not insta dead, thanks to your stones endurance. <laughs> so if it wasn't for that, yeah, you'd definitely be dead. Oh my god! <laughs> Mama's home. Everybody, roll in this shit, please. <laughs> Question: The first, yeah, just, the we first one. Before... Sorry. Oh yeah, we should probably finish now, shouldn't we? Should we roll mm. initiative and then. Or do we? Do you want to? Thank you.